Uh, uh, Homer, honey, time for breakfast. Oh, oh really? Oh, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Oh, ooh, French fries. I cannot wait to have some. Dad, those aren't French fries. They're us, your kids. Oh, uh, Bart, Lisa, Maggie. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry that I mistaken your hair for French fries. Everybody. One time, Nelson mistaken my head for being a paper bag. Did he really? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, how come you two aren't in chairs and on the table? I'm trying to have a contest with these three, these two, to see like who can stare at the la the light the most. Well, and it seems though I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh no, the light! It's burning my eyes. Ah! Well, Maggie, I guess you're the winner. Hmm. What kind of award should I give you? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what? A squishy toy? Okay, a squishy toy's fine with me. Marge. Marge. Margie. Margie. Marge. Marge. Marge! Oh my gosh, where is that coming from? It's coming from me, Marge. Well, who the heck are you? My name is Stewie Griffin. Well, what are you doing in my house? This is the Griffin residence, isn't it? No, this is the Simpsons residence. Oh, well then where am I? You're in Springfield? What state? I'm not telling you. Oh, great. Now I don't even know. How long it's going to take me to get back to Quahog? Ah, Quahog, huh? I'm going to look on my phone and see where I can find that. Okay, Google. What state is Quahog in? Quahog is in the state of Rhode Island. Okay, Mr. Uh, Pooey. Um, Rhode Island should be like a couple of uh, miles away. Like how many? A thousand? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm just a wee little baby. Ah! Compared to my size, you aren't really that little! Oh yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh, see you later, uh... Large Marge. Hey! Don't call me Large Marge! They should call you Large Marge! Because... Never mind. They should call you Large Stewie! Because you're huge! Ah. Hey, uh, Marge. Uh, what the heck was going on there? Uh, some random huge baby was in my room! Oh, you mean our room? Oh! <laughs> Psst, hey, Lisa. Wow, what is it, Bart? I say we go over there and ruin it. Ruin what? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Bart, why you little... <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate that son. <laughs> He's our son! You should love him! Well, I do love him sometimes, but not when he's interrupting our you-know-whats. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out that well. Of course it wouldn't, Bart, because you'd get strangled by Dad all the time. Hey there, dudes. This is Bart Simpson here, and I'm going to do some Halloween-themed pranks on my family. It's going to be so funny! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey Dad, what are you up to? Oh, uh, hi Bart. I'm just trying to try and toast something in this toaster. Do not toast me. What? what the, the toaster talks? Yes, I talk. Now please, do not put toast in me. I hate toast. No, the toaster, come on. You're calling the toaster for some reason. No, I want to be the banana maker. The banana maker? You can't cook bananas. They'll, like, be all mushy and stuff. I like mushy. <laughs> hey, how about I cook you instead? <gasps> cook me? <laughs> In case you guys didn't wonder, I was doing that toaster voice. Anywho, now let's try and prank Mom. Toaster? Please don't kill me. I'll parade you, toaster. Ah! Cannot wait 
to have me another banana. Do not peel me. What? This banana talks? Yeah, I, that's right, I talk. I'm tired of people trying to peel me. Now, quit trying to peel me or I'll peel your skin up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, now for the last person in the house. Well, I was going to prank Lisa earlier, but uh, she's um at her uh, music um practice today, so I'm just going to do Maggie. Oh, okay. I will never treat bananas like this ever again. Ooh. Okay, now time for Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Boo. Maggie? Maggie? Hey, respond to me, Maggie. Don't touch me. Aw, oh, come on. This is better to be another voice prank. I mean, this cannot be real, right? It's not a voice prank. What? What? That's right, Bart. Quit touching me. I will devour your soul. <laughs> no, don't devour my soul. Yes, I love souls. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a nice Hallow's Eve it is tonight. Oh, Lisa, help. Is that Bart? Where is he at? Lisa. Hmm. Oh my gosh, is he all the way up there? Uh, if he is, I'm gonna have to climb all the way up here. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Bart, what are you doing up here? Lisa, it's terrible. What's terrible? You see, I was doing some Halloween pranks on a... Excuse me, move over there. I need to tell my story like this. Anyway, I was doing some pranks around the house on Dad and Mom. And, uh, I tried to do it on Maggie, and it did not work, and all of a sudden she, like, got all devilish, and was like, I will eat your soul, or something like that. Bart, you're silly. No, Lisa, I'm telling you, it's true. Bart, how can something innocent, like Maggie, be, like, all devilish and stuff? I mean, besides, demons only exist in books and movies and stuff. Oh, well, I don't know, Lisa. I think Ma something's wrong with Maggie. Oh, there you are, Maggie. You see? Don't go close to her. She could be dangerous. Bart, don't be silly. Like, like I said before, how could, like, Maggie be all devilish and stuff? Oh, no. Wait, wait what are you doing? Ah! Bart, where did you go? Oh, who knows? Uh, I don't think it was you that did it, Maggie. Oh! oh! Wait, how did I fall off? I mean, I didn't, like, roll over or anything. Something's weird's going on around here. <laughs> you see, Lisa? It's the work of Maggie in the devil form. Bart, I'm telling you, what is so silly about that? I mean, it is silly after all. Oh, no. Oh, I feel her next to me. Hello, Bart. Ah! Oh my gosh, I think Bart is right. Maggie is possessed. I will devour your souls forever. Okay, thankfully I've seen a lot of ghost-related material and demon-related material in order to figure out how to get this demon out. Well, uh, how do we get her out, Lisa? Why do I keep falling over? Must be these, these, these new shoes. Anyway... I'll tell you, Bart. I'll just whisper it. Oh, yes. Good idea. I'm waiting for your souls. Uh, hey, Maggie. Uh, check out this little toy fire truck I have. <gasps> A fire truck? I love fire trucks. That... <gasps> <laughs> what was that, Lisa? It's a fire truck on fire. Is that seriously how... Demons are supposed to be handled. What? It said so in a book. <gasps> ah! oh, shh. oh, Maggie, thank goodness you're better. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to cool you off a little bit since. Sorry for burning you. Shh. Ah, you should be cooled off now. Okay, I do not want to deal 
with demons ever again, and... Bart? Bart? I will devour your soul! Ah! Oh, nothing like a little relaxing day on the beach. Dad, do you think we should do, like, other stuff besides just laying on the beach and, like, uh, just sitting around and staring at the sun? Yeah, with no sunglasses on? Oh, yeah, I was wondering why my, my eyes smell like, uh, fried eggs. Anywho, I think we should do something else. What should we do? Yeah, I agree with Maggie. We should play I Spy. How do you even know what Maggie's saying? Don't question it, Bart. All right, I'll go first. Uh, I spy with my little eye. Don't you mean big eye? Hey, Bart, are you calling me fat? No, I was just saying you have a big eye. Oh, you better watch your mouth. My mouth is underneath my eyeballs. How can I watch my mouth? Don't get smart with me. Oh, yeah, well, then what's two plus two? Excuse me, I'm going to need some time to think about this. He is such a dumb person. Don't say that about your father, Bart. He's a really nice man. Uh, yeah, right, a really nice fat man. Bart, I'm serious. Would you please quit making fun of Dad? What? It's I have rights to make fun of someone if I want to. Hey, by the way, where the heck is Maggie? Uh, uh, Maggie? Where the heck is that brat going? Bart, you're the brat around here. Hey, you better get back here. Uh, kids, kids, watch out! Okay, everybody, I figured out the answer to 2 plus 2 at... Hey, where did everybody go? Oh well, more laying down for me. Ah, uh, nothing like spending a Thanksgiving dinner with my family. Ah, uh, Homer, I found a downside to this. What's that, Margie, dear? Well, for one thing, look at how big this chair is compared to all of us! Oh! Ugh, oh, man. I did not even realize that. Yeah, Dad, why didn't you think about that earlier? Because I have other things to do, Bart! That's why! Ow! Did you do this, Bart? No, Dad, she fell down herself. Marge, this is what you get for being so skinny. You always, like, fall down easily. What is wrong with you, Bart? I'm sorry, Homer, I just like my skinny figure! <sighs> anyway... By the way, Dad, do we have any food at all? Well, uh, let me check the table. Uh, Oh, gosh. Uh, can one of you guys give me a hand here? You're not gonna talk, huh? Well, then. How, how am I gonna get on this table? Uh, 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 finally. Uh, let me see what food we have. We have, uh... Well, we do have two bananas and an avocado. That's not gonna help, Homer! Don't! Oh well, we're just gonna spend Thanksgiving at, uh, uh, where? Where can we spend Thanksgiving at? I have no idea, Homer. Our house is the only place. How about we spend, it, spend, spend Thanksgiving with Grandpa? No, Dad, besides his. He lives in a retirement home, Dad. We can't have Thanksgiving there. Well, why not? I don't know. I mean, the old folks are already sleepy enough. Oh, yeah, because of turkey and stuff? Yeah. Well then, I guess we're just gonna have to go on an adventure. Adventure? That's right, Lisa. We're gonna have to go on an adventure to find the perfect house to have Thanksgiving in. You know, Dad, we could steal from the Flanders. <gasps> genius, Bart! You are a genius! <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, look who's talking, Lisa. I came up with a good idea for Thanksgiving. You didn't. I would have rather had Thanksgiving as like a... Vegetable type of uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, why not, Lisa? Turkey is always, like, uh, the icon for Thanksgiving, not, like, meatballs or... Wait, meatballs are meats, too. Wait, what am I saying? Ah, who knows. Well, come on, everybody. Let's go steal food from the Flanders. Ah, uh, Bart, you really shouldn't have given this idea. It's a good idea, Mom. I don't think it's a good idea, Bart. Okay, let me look in my invisible list here. Uh, let's see, what, am I, what does my family want? Uh, Homer wants a big uh, beer kettle. Uh, Bart wants uh, 
a big video game? Lisa wants a big telescope? Maggie wants a big teddy bear? Oh my gosh, why is my whole family asking for big things? I mean, I'm only asking for like a gift card or something. I mean, jeez. Man, do you really have to go big with everything? Ugh. I mean, it's like asking for a big, I don't know, Pokemon book that's like in Japanese. Huh, that's weird. When I said that, it just ran into one. I'm not buying it. Yeah, I agree with you, Maggie. I'm pretty bored, too. Hey, why the heck are you guys so bored? Well, don't you see, Bart? I mean, we got nothing in front of us right here, just, uh, this blanket. So why don't we go to sleep? Well, because we're not tired, Bart. I mean, it's like, what is it, like, in the afternoon and stuff. I mean, winter break is almost over, and school's about to start tomorrow. Wait, you love school. Why are you so worried about it starting tomorrow? I'm not worried about it, it's just... Let's just continue with what we're talking about. I mean, there's, like, nothing else to do. Wait, Maggie's trying to say something. And let me guess, you can translate it, can you? Yes, I translate it. And she says that there's a Wii up there. Uh, hey, Mr. Cameraman. Yeah? Can you please pan over to where the Wii is? All right. That's better. Yeah, it's like way up there, right where the TV is, and all those amiibos and that can of Coke. It probably must be Dad. He obviously... Coke is obviously his second favorite drink. Beer's obviously his first. So, uh... So there's a Wii up there, so what are we gonna do? Well, it's too high up for us to reach, so, uh... We're just gonna have to climb it. Yes, which made me come up with a new game. What's the new game, Bart? It's called, Who Can Make It Up There First to Turn On The Wii? You're on. Hey, where are you girls going? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you guys are pretty fast. Well, Bart, I may not look athletic, but I've actually have been uh, knowing stuff in karate. How does karate teach you about uh, about being fast? I don't know. Anyway, let us get the jumping contest started. I'll go first. Ladies first, Bart. No, I go first. No, I go first. No, I go first. No, I go first. 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 Hey, where's Maggie? Yeah, good question. Where is Maggie? Maggie? I can see her head. Well, of course, her head looks like your head. Shut up, Bart. Come on, we gotta get up there. Uh, I'm coming right with you. Uh, uh, wait, how come I can't super jump like they can? Oh man, this is like weird. Huh. Oh man. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in the way. Yeah, that can of Coke and those amiibos. Can't we just use the amiibos for this game? You can't use the amiibos for the Wii. I thought you can. That's for the Wii U! Oh! Oh, I see. So anyway, uh... Shouldn't it be dangerous for us to be this close to the TV? Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, it's not like it's gonna burn your eyes or anything, and OH MY GOSH, MY EYEBALLS! Yeah, where did Bart go? Alright, Maggie, what game do you want to play? Smash Brothers, that doesn't say Sorry, a pest dispenser dropped. Anyway, doesn't Smash Brothers seem too violent for a baby like you to play? Well, I guess if you say so. Ah, uh, I cannot wait to get going with my homework. Oh. Oh. Where is that noise coming from? Is this house haunted or something? <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? Lisa, I'm super starving. Yeah, why did you come to me because of it? 
because I want to eat your homework. <laughs> I haven't even gotten started on it yet. Yeah, so I should eat this before you start your other homework, which I'm going to eat next. Why do you want to eat my homework anyway? Because there's nothing else to eat. Dad, there should be plenty of stuff in the kitchen. But it's all gone. Let me guess, because you ate it all? Yeah. Does Mom know about this? Well, I, I hope not. She'd be very mad with me. I'm already quite upset about you, Dad. Why did you eat all of our food supply? I'm a very hungry person, Lisa. And you gotta let me eat everything first. I'm like the alpha male of this uh, household. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you get to eat my life work. I mean, if I don't, like, uh, get this homework done, I mean, I'm gonna get my first F that I ever had in my whole life. Well, that should be good then, because I'm helping you get your first F in the world. But I don't want that to happen. Well, too bad, Lisa. I'm too hungry, so I'm eating it. Dad! No! Oh, man. That tasted fibery. Dad, how could you do this? Well, Lisa, what else am I supposed to eat? You could have, like, waited until Mom went shopping or something. Or better yet, you should have done the shopping yourself. But then I'd eat everything in the store. Then don't! Well, uh... Actually, I don't think I have anything else to argue with. Good. Then don't ever eat my homework ever again, because now I have to restart all over again. You didn't even do a single thing. Exactly! Well, anyway, I have to go to the bathroom really bad because... Man, that paper is uh, making me really want to take some really weird craps, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't you dare follow me, YouTubers. Why would anyone want to follow you to the bathroom, Dad? Because I take the best craps in the world. No, you don't. Shut up. I'm not. Come and follow me. You told them not to follow you. Well, I'm making up my mind because I'm bipolar. Come on, follow me. Don't follow him. Follow me. Don't follow him. Follow me. I said don't follow him. Well, I told him to follow me. Just get out of here, Dad. All right, fine. Whatever, Mom. I'm not your mother. You act like my mother. She's dead. I know. That was the weirdest conversation I've ever had. Well, time to get a new sheet to start uh, my homework again. The following episode of TCW Simpsons has been filmed before Super Bowl 49 came out. So whatever prediction happens is either right or wrong. Bart, how many times do I have to tell you you're grounded? Coming, Mom. Oh, you gotta watch this, guys. I'll see you all later. All right, Maggie. Out of those uh, two teams over there, the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks, which one do you think is going to win the Super Bowl 49? Oh, you think the New England Patriots are going to win? Oh, that's nice. Bart, are you trying to rip off Super Mario Logan again? Uh, Lisa, what are you talking about? Well, this concept is very similar. I mean, you get a, get a little sister predicting the winners of a Super Bowl. I mean, Super Mario Logan's been doing this for like a couple of years now. Well, it's technically not Super Mario Logan. It's Super Peach Logan, his fourth YouTube channel. Bart, are you ripping off that Super Mario Logan guy again? Dad, how do you know who he is? Well, of course. You talk about him like 50 times a day. Oh, yeah. Uh, but still, Dad, I mean, I'm sure this video is going to get a lot of views. I think it's going to get a lot of negativity, Bart. Why is that? Because people are going to criticize you for ripping off Super Mario Logan. I'm not ripping off Super Mario Logan. I'm ripping off Super Peach Logan. Super Logan, well, whatever. It's still the same thing. Not really. Super Mario Logan's used for, like, plush videos, and, uh, what else is there? And Super Peach Logan's used for, like, cat and little sister videos. Well, not this channel. This channel's used for, like, plush and video game videos. Well, mostly video game videos, because video game videos have taken over this channel, which I'm... I'm gonna punch the guy whoever made that idea possible. You're talking about the guy who's controlling us, right? Uh... Oh, uh, sorry guys, I guess this video has to end, so, uh, uh, see you all later. Bart, you're gonna be grounded! Oh, God. Dear, do, 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 do,
Do 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 do. Do. Da da do do. Do 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 do. I live in a city with an unknown state. When I go fishing, I use the wrong bait. My face looks like a monkey, and my favorite food is marshmallows. Dan and no no do do. But either way it goes, it doesn't matter if you're black or yellow. Do 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 do. Uh oh, great. Uh, how else did the parody go? Okay, let me check the my little script thing. No 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 no. Oh okay, now I remember. Okay, back to the music, please. Meow, do 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 do. It may look like I'm a Steelers fan, but if I go back to Pennsylvania, I'll be banned because I ate all of their cheese steaks. And uh, what's my line again? Uh, okay, and it had a little side of Jello. Do 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 do. But either way it goes, it doesn't matter if you're black or yellow. If you're black or yellow, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, black or yellow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, black or yellow. It doesn't matter, dunk down. Don't. Um, hom homie, uh, that parody made no sense. I know that, Marge. Yeah, even though I might have, like, failed a few times, I didn't remember my lines very well. But still, I always wanted to do a parody of Michael Jackson's song, Black or White. Yeah, but why did you want to parody it anyway? Because, Marge, I actually met Michael Jackson. You did? Well, yeah, there was a, what is it, like a season three episode of The Simpsons where, like, I don't know, like, I talked to a guy that had the same voice as Michael Jackson in jail. Even though, like, um... The ending credits of that episode did not credit Michael Jackson as voicing that character. But still, it means I met Michael Jackson. Well, how come they didn't give Michael Jackson credit? Well, because he did, uh, not so very good things in the 90s. Like what? Oh my god! Yeah, I know that, Marge. Very bad, isn't it? I, I know, no wonder why they didn't give him credit. Oh my lord! Well, either way it goes, Marge. Let's just lay down next uh, to each other on this uh, Steelers bed. Wait! Whose bedroom is this owned by? Well, it's definitely not Tyler's room, so, uh. Marge, I think we should get out of here. Yeah, me too! I don't want, uh. the owner of this room to know that we've been in here! Oh, gotta wash this off! Shh, 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 shh! Oh, okay, good! Oh my god, look at all of Bart's clothes! I mean, like... I mean, look at how big they are! I mean, they don't even fit him at all! I mean, just look at my, like, clothes! I mean, he has about the same clothes size as I do! Well, everybody in the family does, but still! This makes no sense! And they're all huge, too! Oh my god, he didn't even make his bed! Oh, I'm so gonna ground him! Oh, man. I wish that somebody would just make a bed for me! Wish? Did somebody say wish? Wait a minute, you sound familiar. Hello, March Simpson. Do you remember me from a certain late 80s kids show? Wait, you sound like that Jombie guy from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Exactly, I am Jombie from Pee Wee's Playhouse. But you're not a human. Well, since I'm a genie, I could take many forms. Well, yeah, I wish that somebody would just make this bed. Okay. From the little voices inside my head, please, somebody, make this bed. What the heck is this? Hey, the bed is made, right? But the blanket's gone. W well, you won't have to worry about putting it on or anything or making your bed anymore now that there's no more blankets. But Bart will be uncomfortable at night. You do realize that... Sprint's coming soon, right? Yeah, I know, but I heard we're gonna get snow this weekend, but... Oh my gosh! Okay, note to self. Never ask advice for, from a genie ever again! I was just trying to help. Hey, Bart. Uh... Bart? What are you doing? I love this channel. Hey, Bart. Oh my gosh, Bart. Oh my gosh, man, it's so awesome. Bart!
<laughs> Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? Oh, uh, hey, Dad. Hey there, son. Wait, you call me Dad? You usually always call me by, call me by, by my first name. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I mean, hi, Homer. Oh, oh dang. I thought it was going to be good, too. Uh, anyway, so, uh, who is this YouTuber you're looking at? Oh, um, try and, uh, figure out if you know, um, how to pronounce their name. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, what's that first letter again? <sighs> it's the letter T, Dad. How is it pronounced? It's pronounced T. Yeah, uh, what about, like, every other letter? <sighs> it's H-E-G-A-I-G-J-I-N-G-A-M-E-R-S-P-L-A-Y. Wait, what's that noise? Congratulations, sir. You just won the spelling bee. Wait, spelling bee? What the, what the heck? This isn't no spelling bee. Oh, whatever. Anyway, Bart, uh, I didn't know you were into YouTube a lot. Uh, Dad, do you not realize this? Bart is always on YouTube. I mean, YouTube has, like, ruined Bart's life. I, I mean, first Super Mario Logan, now this YouTube channel? I mean, <laughs> what the heck is that thing, then? I don't even know what game you're from. You're obviously a Goomba from the Mario games, and how does this Goomba have, have, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm out of here. Killjoy. Yeah, at least it does have a good point. How does, like, a Goomba have a... Can we just get onto what you're trying to tell me? Oh, yeah, Bart. Uh, do you know how it's your birthday today? Yeah? Uh, what did I just click? You just clicked a separate window, Dad. Hold on, let, let me do this with a mouse. I like to stare at the screen, okay? Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Dad, quit pressing random buttons. Sorry, I, I mean, we're... Our, our feet are about the size of these keys anyway. Ah. Uh. Anyway, so did you give me something for my birthday? Yes, I did. I got you a new pet. <gasps> Is it Santa's little helper? No. Is it Snowball? No. Snowball 2? No. Snowball 5? Uh, we never had a Snowball 5. Oh, and what is it? It's a new cat. But he's asleep. How do you know it's a he? I don't know. Is he a boy? Duh, yeah. Of course he's a boy. I mean... I mean, just look at that. He's, like, sleeping in the daytime. At Dad, it's actually, like, 8.15 at night. Whatever. But still. It makes no sense. Why'd you give me a pet? And he doesn't really do anything to either. Well, come over here and I'll show you what he does. Wait, uh, uh, guy, Oh, my God. Hey, hey. Let me get back to the YouTube channel. Ah! Okay. Sit right down here. Ow, my face. See? You woke him up. Thanks a lot, son. You just woke up your first pet. Ah, Dad, you make no sense. Anyway, what does he do? Well, well, he's not really in his active mood right now. I mean, he usually does other things besides this, but, uh, well, he does talk a lot, and he's allergic to everything. Wait, allergic? What do you mean? Well, every time he, like, wakes up, like, he's about to wake up by now, but I don't know. If he does wake up, he'll, like, sneeze a lot of times, like, Achoo! 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 Like that. My gosh, I mean, are you sure he's safe to have around? Yeah, duh. I mean, we didn't have to sign a contract or anything, so it should be safe. Uh, if you say so, I guess. Oh, oh god, uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, my stomach, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Ow, my camera, oh, uh, sorry, cameraman. Oh, man, I'm so clumsy today. Oh, I just like to stare at the light, even though the light's like only like, I don't know, like a couple feet away from where I'm usually looking at it from, but, oh, what a day. It's my birthday, Dad. You should do like other special things for my birthday. We'll go back and watch YouTube. Whatever. That a boy. Dad, I don't see why this homeschooling thing will be good for me. Well, it'll just give you some education. Not only in school, but here in this house. Um, and what makes me think I can trust you as my teacher? Well, because, according to, uh, uh what is it, some t-shirts and stuff that I'm on, I'm so smart. Dad, that was just like some line you said in one of the Simpsons episodes. And by the way, they spelled smart wrong. No, I think it's spelled S-M-R-T. You forgot the A. Where? Between the M and R. Do not question me! Ow! 
Did you do that on purpose? Uh, uh, no, that was not really my fault. Uh, anyway, let's get back on the teaching. Now, you gotta answer this one question for me, and you'll be able to s succeed. Alright, what's that question? What is my current weight? 239 pounds. Let me double- uh, Oh, sorry. Why do you keep hitting me? It's not my fault, it's gravity. Okay. I'll just weigh my stuff on here. Huh. I guess I had two, 239 pounds. But the question is, am I 239 pounds exactly? You're actually 239.1 pounds. Wait. Are you- Let me see a- 239.1? Oh my gosh, you really are a genius, Lisa. Of course. And for that, you get an F. Ow! <laughs> Let me guess, is it gravity? Yeah, it's gravity. But dad... But Fs are bad. No, it's not. Fs are... Okay, now this time that wasn't my fault. <sighs> Man, gravity keeps, like, screwing up with us today. I know, for some reason. But Lisa, Fs aren't bad. F stand for effort. Um, that's not what it means, homie! Well, what does it mean, Marge? Well, it means... <laughs> Wait, it means failure? Huh. That's probably the reason why I keep thinking that Bart is like the smartest one in the family. <sighs> well, then, what is the passing grade for, like, someone? It's an A, homie! An A. Well, what does the A stand for? I don't know. Academic excellence? No, excellence starts with E. And I know for sure... Surprisingly, even I know, there is no grade E. Or G, or H, or I, or J, or K, or L, or M, or N, or O, or P, or Q, or an R, or S, or T, or U, or V, or W, or X, or Y, or Z, or... Are there any, are there any letters that come after Z? No. Well then. I find it weird how, out of all, like, the first six letters, they, like, skipped E and, like, made F. That's just, like, weird. Well, I guess you're right, teacher. I almost called you teacher for some reason. I guess you're right, Lisa. I guess I'm not that smart after all. Oh, well. Well, see ya, Lisa. Well, that was awkward. I'm going back to school. Ah, oh, there you go, Maggie. You're all nice and comfortable. Well, I must be going. Good night. Mwah. Oh, uh, wait, you want something? Oh, I forgot to put the blanket over you. Oh, <laughs> that's silly me. Uh, hey, Storm, uh, sorry I'm going to do this, but... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Just trying to make my youngest daughter comfortable in bed. Uh, sorry. Maybe next time. Ah, uh, there you go. All comfy now? Okay, good night. Mwah! Oh, what is it now? Wait, do what? Do what? Ew, no, that's your mother's job. Ugh. Whatever, but... Yeah, so good night. Mwah! Wait a minute. I just noticed something. Maggie, th this isn't your crib. This is... A bed! You you can't sleep in beds yet. Hey, Marge! Where's Maggie's crib? Bart sold it on eBay! Uh, eBay? Uh, not eBay, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon! Amazon? Bart! Uh, dad, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Bart, why did you sell Maggie's crib on eBay? Well, hey, how else am I supposed to get some of those rare amiibos that they have on Amazon? Wait, what are amiibos? Well, look over there, Dad. Are you talking about those figure things that you use on that stupid Wii U? Yeah. Oh, you don't need any more of those, Bart. Eight is good enough. No, Dad. Eight is not great. I need to get all of them. All of them! Ugh, I need to collect them all. Just like Pokemon! <laughs> wow, that was, uh... Pretty frightening. Well, uh... Yeah. Maggie, I hope you enjoy your stay in bed. Okay, good night. Mwah!
I'm becoming Homer. I'm becoming Homer. Tell the world that I'm becoming Homer. I sit all day and drink some beer. Even when my family's here. La 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 I'm becoming Homer. I'm becoming Homer. Just tell the world that I'm becoming Homer. Dad, you weren't trying to do one of those stupid parody things again, are you? Oh, no, Lisa. Uh, well, I was going to, but uh, yeah, the fans would probably find it annoying how, like, my episodes would just be, like, parodies, like I did with that Michael Jackson song earlier. Yeah. Oh, and uh, by the way, Dad, that song sounds a little bit outdated. You're outdated, Bart. Eh, not really. People still like me. Don't they? I don't know. I mean, I haven't really, like seen anybody who's, like, really into The Simpsons since the 90s. Yeah, true. And I'm still surprised our show is still on. Yeah, after, like, what? Like, 26 years? Yeah. Quite weird. And the fact that we've lasted longer than almost, like, every other show in America. Well, almost, Dad. I mean, you guys still are younger than Sesame Street and 60 Minutes and Meet the Press. Well, those shows don't count. We're an animated, we're an animated sitcom, and we're the longest-running one in America. Well, actually, we're the longest-running animated show in general in America. Arthur's only in second place. South Park is third. Yeah, I, I'm predicting maybe Family Guy might be fourth, but ah, who knows? Why were we even talking about this? I'm just gonna be going and uh, drinking some more Duff, like I always expected, Dad. Uh, Storm, what are you doing here? Uh, you're not even supposed to be in the video. I'm the main focus. Get your tail out of the camera. Ah, uh, anyway, man, I got a question, Homer, about his Mother's Day gift for me. Well, actually, actually, I should have questioned, uh, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie for that, but oh well. I'm sure Homer must have paid for it. Homie! Homie? Homie! Who the heck are you? Yo, I'm your homie. You call the homie, right? Yeah? And I'm your homie. But, I wanted my husband Homer. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. E.T.? I, I noticed that your hoodie says E.T. and you clearly look like E.T. Are you E.T.? Well, uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, I'm actually E.T. What was with that stereotypical ghetto voice? Ah, sorry, I just wanted to trick people into thinking I was really ghetto, even though... With my hoodie, I'm not really that ghetto, though. Oh, okay, I see. So, do you know, have any idea where Homer is? Who's this Homer guy? He's fat, yellow, wears a white shirt, and Storm! I'm telling you, quit being in the video! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that's a good enough description of him. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I don't really know. You don't know? Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, dang it. Oh, that was a waste of time. I want to know what this is for. Oh, hey, E.T., how's it going? Uh, uh, oh, hey, Barch, uh, what are you doing here? I want to ask you about this present that you and the kids gave me for Mother's Day. Yeah? Isn't it nice? But I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Well... Since we're, uh, small size now, unlike regular human-sized, I got us these, uh, goggles. They're supposed to be worn on human eyes, but you can use this as a double sleeping mask. One for you and me. Let's put these on. Ah, there we go. Don't we look perfect in these? Well, okay, never mind. They can't hold on very well, but at least I got it for, like, uh, three dollars. Three dollars?! You could have gotten me, like, jewelry or flowers or, well, even though flowers will die, or, heck, even, like, I don't know, something more decent than this. Well, you see, Ma Marge, uh, presents don't really matter. What matters is, I love you. Oh, yes, I love you too, homie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'll come back later. I think I gotta go over there and puke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes.
Oh yeah, school's finally over for this year, and we get to finally be on summer vacation. Uh, I feel pretty bad about it. What makes you feel so bad about it, Lisa? I don't know. There's something about me that just misses learning about something every day. Yeah, oh well, who cares? Well, you're lucky, but... What do you mean? You have summer school, but... No, I don't. Yeah. Mom told me you did. Mom doesn't know anything. She never pays attention to school. Actually, she checks our grades like every week. But that's besides the point. Where do you think she's heard about me going to summer school? Probably because Principal Skinner told her about it. Ah, Principal Skinner. I hate that guy. Well, he hates you too. Whatever. There's no way I'm going to go to that summer school. You're going to have to. Why? In order for you to pass. <laughs> Passing's for losers. Well, Bar, you're probably going to regret it once you uh, don't pass summer school. Yeah, because I'm not going. I'd rather have other stuff to do, like play video games, skateboard, mess with Millhouse, and mess with my other friends, and other crap. Well, I'd rather learn about new stuff during the summer. Well then, why don't you go to summer school for me? I don't need summer school, Bart. As much as I like to learn about more about stuff, I mean... Yeah, I'm not required to go to summer school. Well, don't you worry. I have an idea. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, thankfully I did a little bit of adjustments to this paper. So instead of saying Bart Simpson, it says Lisa Simpson. What? Yep, indeed. I'm going to tell mom about this. Do, 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 if I can find her. Ugh. Hey, does anybody know where Marge is? I mean, not Marge. Mom? Uh, 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 thank goodness I'm finally here. What is it, Bart? Isn't this thing about you being in summer school? Well, it's not about me being in summer school. Apparently there was a misconception. Lisa's going to be in summer school. Lisa? I thought you were a passing student. I am. But it says on the sheet that, that you're going to be in summer school. But it wasn't me. It was Bart that... Uh, Bart has nothing to do with this. Mom! Yeah, sorry, Lisa. You're gonna have to go to summer school. Wait, what? No! Yeah, come on. Your first day starts tomorrow. We gotta get ready. Uh, wait, what? No! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bart, one score. Lisa, zero. <laughs> well, actually, the term is Bart, one point. Lisa, zero points. <laughs> I will get my revenge someday, Bart. I will. Shut up and let's get ready. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Man, this book is intriguing. Lisa. Lisa. Bart, I'm over here. Oh, uh. Oh, hey, are, are you making yourself like a fort or a tent or something? No, Bart. I'm reading a book. Psh. Why are you reading a book in the summer? Well, don't you remember, Bart? The principal said that we're supposed to read a book during the summer? <laughs> yeah, I don't really take the principal's advice. I don't really take Skinner's advice. N n never. Why did it take you so hard to say that? I don't know. But anyway, I think that should be used as a tent. Uh, Bart, what are you doing? I'm getting to the best part. Don't worry. I'm gonna do- Ow! Mm -hmm. Quit messing with my book! This wasn't really your book. You got it from the library. Yeah, I know, but still, don't mess with it. It's very valuable. Psh, I think these things over here are way more valuable than that book. Bart, you're being a hypocrite. That'd be quiet, Lisa. All right. I'll try to make this a tent. Yeah, I don't really think it's going to fit us. Of course not, Bart. The book's about the same size as we are. Uh, really? Uh, hold on. Let me do a size comparison. Wow, it actually is exactly the same size as I am. Heh, <laughs> funny. Yeah, Bart, mind if I have that book back? I, I want to read the rest of this. Come on, Lisa, it's summer. You're supposed to do summer things like swim and skateboard and cause mischief. Uh, Bart, I don't really like doing those other, those pr last two things. 
Psh, why not? Because for one thing, I can't skateboard. I'm really bad at it. And second of all, I don't want to be a thief. Ah, whatever. Uh, sorry about that. I like to be a thief. I like to, like, steal things without others knowing. Uh, Bar, you're really gonna, like, regret it in the future. I don't think so, Lisa. Besides, uh, what could possibly go wrong? That's just what Bubsy the Bobcat says. And look at what he's gotten into. He has no more games. His company, like, is no longer around. And by the way, Lisa, how do you even know who Bubsy is? Uh, I've read, it, I've read about him on the internet. <laughs> of course you would. You always research everything. You're like the research person or whatever. That's quite possibly the most uncreative name I ever heard you call me, Bart. Yeah, but let's face it, I'm not really the most creative person when it comes to name-calling people. Heck, Nelson's better than better than I am. Yeah. oh well. Well, good luck uh, reading your stupid book, Lisa. I'm going to be going skateboarding and possibly um, stealing some uh, one-cent lollipops. One-cent lollipops? You're telling me he's going to steal lollipops that are only worth one penny? What a waste. Ah, oh well, back to this book. The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Hmm. This guy had a lot of good thinking about uh, the future and stuff. Hold on, let me get in position here. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, yeah, such a good book. Oh, oh, Maggie, Maggie, wake up! Wake up, out of the way, out of the way! What are you so mad about? I just, I had a bad dream and I was wondering if I could sleep with you tonight. What do you mean I can't do this? I mean, besides, I'm your father, I should have the rights to sleep in your crib if I want to. Well, anyway, I'm staying the night here. And who the heck said he could have a giant cat in here? I guess he's, uh, he's looking something down there, but oh well. Oh, come on, Maggie, let's, uh, let's get tucked in. Homie! Homie, where are you? Uh, what are you doing in Maggie's crib? It's comfortable in here, Bart, you gotta try it. Huh, I guess it is comfortable. Well then. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I can't sleep tonight. I want to. I want to have a party, but I don't know how. Well, you can have a party in Maggie's crib tonight, Bart. Good idea, Homer. I'm gonna call over and invite Millhouse over here to Maggie's crib. Come on, Maggie. Don't be upset. We're just having a fun party in your crib. Ah, she's just being a little jealous. She just wants the crib to herself. All right, I invited Millhouse, and he's invited Nelson, those three bullies, and a lot of everybody from Springfield Elementary here. Come on, Maggie, don't be upset. It's going to be fun. Can you guys keep it down? I'm trying to study. Why are you trying to study late at night? I don't know. And plus, it's summer, Lisa. Why are you studying in summer? Well, uh... uh. I have no reason to explain it. I, I just love studying, but, uh, why are, you, why are you all in Maggie's crib? Well, it's comfortable in here. We're having a party. Well, I guess that sounds nice. Oh, well, it might it may distract me from my summer studying, but oh, well. Move out of the side. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, guys, I think Maggie's a little jealous. Yeah, she's being greedy. Yeah, she doesn't want to share the crib to herself. Ah, oh, well. Well, good night, Bart. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Marge. I mean, Mom. Ah, good night, Bart. Good night, homie. Oh, good night, Marge, my love. Ah, good night, Maggie. I cannot wait to have that party soon. Ding dong. Oh, that must be them right now. Party time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, do they have the chips and dip? I hope there's like some people that want to study with me. Well, I gotta get the decorations ready. You stay there, Maggie. I'll decorate your crib. Hello, Simpsons family. Happy 4th of July. 
Oh, Dana, what's that you got behind there? Oh, that's just a box of fireworks, Bart. Are you going to throw a fireworks show for us, Dad? No, Lisa. I'm going to go use it on the Flanders house. Wait, what? Yep. I'm going to say happy 4th of July, Flanders, and hopefully they'll, they'll all scream and other stuff, and hopefully, I hope they're dead. What? Uh, I mean, uh, I hope uh, they have a good time, yeah. <laughs> Get ready, Flanders. Oh, how did he do, Homer? How's it going? Oh, it's going nice, uh, Flanders. Uh, would you, uh... Oh, uh... Crap. <laughs> What's wrong, homie? Oh, sorry. I forgot what I was going to say next. And I forgot that I... I wasn't even supposed to go to his front door. I was supposed to sneak in there. Dad, this is making me think that you're planning on, like, some terrorist attack against the Flanders. No, I'm not, Bart. I'm just gonna do a special little Fourth of July thing in their own house. This isn't gonna turn out so well, isn't it? Okay. Gotta light these up. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is making me suspicious, homie! Shh, shh, shh. Ah, la, la, la. Hey. Hey, kids, do you smell something burning? Huh, let me check the basement. Uh, oh, well, fireworks! Kids, run for your lives! <laughs> Homie, you really did plan on trying to murder them, didn't you? You want to know the truth, Marge? Yes! I just don't want them in this neighborhood anymore. I know, Dad, I find the Fl Flanders to be annoying too, but this is taking it too far. I know, Bart. I just want him off my property. <laughs> how did he do, Homer? Flanders, how are you alive? Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, how did that go? Oh, Homer, Homer, that fireworks show was a dilly do blast. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, I mean, I'm yes, I have to clean my house after the big explosion, but still, it was fun. Well, see you later, neighbor Reno. Oh. <laughs> Is it over? Oh, it's over. Oh man, the Flanders house looks waste. Looks, man, doesn't look that good. It looks screwed up. Yeah, thanks to Dad's fireworks. Well, at least the Flanders are still alive. <gasps> at least they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, guys, I'm going to be going. I'm going to go, go blow some firecrackers with Millhouse. I'm going to be doing some studying about the American Revolution. I'm going to go prepare the 4th of July meal. <laughs> Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little guy that lives in this blue hair and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like mom's hair Bart quit making fun of my hair why not why can't I make fun of your hair because I'm your mother you shouldn't be like making fun of you like people who have higher standards than you uh don't you mean higher authority or something <laughs> whatever just don't make fun of my hair Mom, your hair is like the most recognizable thing in the house. I mean, you're the only person in the house that actually has colored hair. Ow! Sorry. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's fine. Uh, 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 am I too late? Lisa, what are you doing here? I heard something about this little guy that lives in Mom's hair. Lisa, I was just kidding around. There is no microscopic living guy living in Mom's hair. Well, I'll get my magnifying glass to see to figure that out. Okay, let's see. Is there somebody in there? Uh, oh my gosh! What? There's a whole colony in here. There's a colony of microscopic organisms in my hair. Yep. Are there bugs? Not that I know of. 
Oh my gosh! Uh, Mom, I think you're probably gonna need some, like, uh, head and shoulders, uh, shampoo, conditioner stuff, or body wash, or... I don't know. I may be smart at everything, but I don't know much about, like, girl beauty products, despite the fact that I am a girl. Oh, I have people living inside me! I mean, not inside me, but inside my hair! That doesn't sound comfortable! Eh, uh, I always felt like I have people living in my hair all the time. Probably being the behavior of my, uh... Wait, not behavior. Probably the reason to affirm my bad behavior. Bart, the reason why you had that bad behavior is because a drop of alcohol somehow went into my mouth when you were pregnant. Not, not, not you. I'm so sorry. When I was pregnant with you. Oh. Huh. I was gonna say, like, when the heck do I have a baby in my stomach? I mean, I mean, there's no way I'm, I'm able to have a baby. At least I hope not. Ugh, it's gonna be, like, terrifying having to deal with that. Ugh. Oh, I'm, I guess I might as well take Lisa's advice. I better go find some head and shoulders, body wash, or hair gel to get microscopic organisms out of my big, luxurious blue hair. Ugh, I gotta go to the store and get money. Well, not get money from the store, but get money to go to the store. One can of Diet Coke. One person who wants to have it. Oh, hey, Diet Coke. I mean, I know I prefer regular pop, but eh, this is like uh, comes in second place. Share a Coke with Dad. Well, Homer's not really here right now. He's at work, but I'm going to take a sip of it. But then this person gets interrupted by another person. Wait, who? Superman? Yes, that's my Diet Coke. Who said it was yours? Nobody but me. You get away from it. Two people fighting for one can of Diet Coke. Get over here. Ah, I, uh, can't wait to throw my lasers at you. Ow. Ah, get ready for my my secret identity. Whoosh. Whoosh. Bartman. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my costume. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. Ow. Well, now I gotta get my Bart Claw out. You like the taste of that? I'm not even tasting it, it's choking me. Ugh, uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why, you little. <laughs> this reminds me of my own dad. <laughs> For this next movie coming out. Bartman vs. Superman. Fight for the Diet Coke. Coming soon to an internet near you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Time to take a sip of this. Why you little... Uh, 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 oh god, oh god. Uh. La la, walking backwards for some reason. At... Hey. <laughs> My Lego senses smell something. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, a wild style mini figurine dressed up in like <laughs> Wild West clothing. <laughs> and Dr. Henry Wu from Lego Jurassic World. Hmm. Uh, I guess I might as well play with these for a little while. Hold on a second there, lady. Who said that? I did. Who the heck are you? My name is Curly, and I am a blue crab. Um. I'm not even going to explain how that's scientifically possible, but, uh... What, what do you want? Those are my Legos that you're touching. Wait, these things are yours? Yeah, I'm a Lego fanatic. So am I. Wait, really? Yes. Uh... Uh, these are mine still. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. You know, there is a certain level of weirdness and, uh... You've certainly gone up to that level. Hey, shut up. Having some, uh, s some good times with my Legos or something. I don't know what to say anymore. Calm down, dude. They're just Lego figurines. I Can I just at least play with one of them? No. No, you can't. Why? Because they're special. These things can break easily. You do realize you can put them back together, right? Yeah, but that stuff takes time. 
one minute? That seriously takes a lot of time? Yes, to me it is. I mean, I mean, look at me. I have claws. I mean, I can't really, like, put, like, Legos properly like you humans in your five fingers can. Actually, I have four fingers. I don't care. Same thing. Ugh. I just don't want these things to be broken. <laughs> these things are like my life possession. Even though you've only had them for like... Well, you've had the Wild Style one for a year and you've had Henry Wu since two months ago. Still, I've had them for a while. Man, you're like so greedy with Legos. Hey, you're also a Lego fanatic too. Yeah, but I don't like hug my Legos or like say, oh yes, oh yes, to them. Hey. That, that, I, I take offense to that. Okay, okay, I just woke up from my nap. What the heck is going on here? Dad, this blue crab won't let me share his Legos. Oh, great, you have to be a tattletale, didn't you, yellow girl? I have a name, you know, it's named Lisa. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, listen here. If you don't share your Legos with my daughter, I swear I am going to cook you into crab meat for Christmas. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, uh. Okay, pick your choice, Lisa. Oh, okay, I'll wild style then. Okay, l let's let's start to begin. Ow! Uh, hold on, let me stand up straight. Ah, there we go. All right, let's get started with playing with uh, your Legos, son, Curly. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, kids, I'll teach you some life lessons. If you want someone to share something, you gotta threaten them to like cook them into something. That'll always get their attention. This has been another message from Homer Simpson. How can you fly, Dad? I have no idea. I don't really know how to explain things anymore. Okay, Maggie, this is your first day of school. Make it a good one. Whoa, 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 stop it there. Uh, I don't think you're old enough to be in my class. Well, for one thing, you're a baby, and I teach, like, older, uh, people than you. Ooh, 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 what's the matter, Storm? Oh, wait, wrong person. Uh, ooh, what's the matter, Maggie? What's the matter, darling? Uh, why are you guys all just, like, laying there? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, we often do that, but, um, <laughs> anyway, why won't you let my daughter join your class? Well, for one thing, she's a baby. <sighs> Don't you be ageist against my daughter. <sighs> hey, it's, it's how school works, uh, Mr. Simpson. I see. Any other reasons? Well, for one thing, uh, all of my classmates, my students... Are all many different things. I mean, I have like two prehistoric squirrels in there, which I'm afraid she's gonna like get some prehistoric disease on her. Uh, I have some orange ball that likes to tickle things, so she's gonna get distracted in class a lot. Um, I have an alien in there who's also probably has a disease. Uh, anybody else? There's a blue guy who often has accidents. I'm afraid he's gonna hurt her or anything. Then I have a green Yeti thing. I'm afraid he's gonna steal Christmas presents from her. Wait, I thought that green Yeti guy changed his ways. He did, but you never know. He could come back. You never know. Oh, okay, whatever. I still don't think you shouldn't let her in, her, in your class. Well, I think I have every right to not have her in my class. Because the stuff I teach, she probably won't understand. Heck, if I want to hear an answer to a question, she probably won't give me the answer, like this, Maggie. Hurry, right, Maggie, what's two plus two? See? I can't understand it. Well, I'm sure if you take her pacifier out, she will. It... I can't take it out. Let me try, homie! Ow! Oh my god, this hurts! It's so hard to get it out! Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, that's another reason why I can't let her in my class. Oh, dang it. Well, have it your way, Hoot Hoot. We'll have Maggie join another better school. Heck, I heard there's a penguin named Skipper who teaches a better school. Yeah! 
Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, guys, I finally figured out where my heart is. What? Homer, how could you not know where your heart is? Well, uh, Bart, I just figured that out recently by myself. Wait, you figured out where your heart is by yourself? Wait, did you get like Dr. Dr. Hibbert to help you out in any way? Nope, I found my heart myself. <laughs> Oh, great, look what you did, homie! You made Maggie puke in her own mouth! If only that pacifier wasn't on her. Well, guys, back on topic. I know where my heart is. Do you guys want to know where it is? It's in the middle of your chest, Dad. No, you idiot, Lisa! It's right here on my tag! See? Yeah, Maggie's right. That is not where your heart is, Dad. How would you know, Lisa? Dad, I learned more in school than you and Bart ever had. Yeah, that's right, Ed. Wait, what? You heard me. Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. So wait, this, that's not where my heart is? I, I thought it was always on my butt. I mean, look at the rest of you at- Wait. Marge, why don't you have a tag on your butt? Don't question that, homie! Uh, Bart, Bart, Bart has a heart on his butt. What about you, Lisa? Uh, Lisa has a... I'm pretty sure that's a heart somewhere in there. I'm not, I'm not gonna look way too deep in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Uh, guys, I, mean, I might need to do this off camera because you guys don't want to see. If, okay. Maggie also has a heart on her butt. Wait, hold on. Marge? Hold on, guys. This may be a little bit of a... Inappropriate over here. Uh, this has turned out to be one weird episode. Yeah, especially for a season two finale. Well, guys, I know there's a tag in there, and I'm sure it has a heart on there, just like the rest of us. So the Simpsons have hearts on their butts. Homie, you're not seeing the real truth. Yeah, Dad, hearts are like in our chests, like Lisa mentioned earlier. Lisa doesn't know anything. She doesn't even know what two plus two is. It's four. What about four plus four? Eight. Eight plus eight? 16. 16 plus 16! 32. 32 plus a million. A million 32. Oh my gosh, she even knows that answer? Oh, dang it. Gosh, I'm getting out of here. So, uh, what do you kids want to do? Um, I'm not really too sure. We just got to find something, I guess. Yeah, I agree with you, Bart. Yeah, he's got a point. My heart is thumping on my butt. That's not where your heart is, Dad. Shut up, smarty pants. I don't wear pants. You have a dress, smarty dress. God. Oh, anyway. Now I'm just gonna uh, do something else. I don't know. Well, I sure do look nice today. Hey, Odd Not. Thanks for letting me use you as a stand. Hey, uh, no problem, Marge. Uh, oh, oh. Sorry. Huh. What the heck is this? Let me move this uh, controller thing out of the way. Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham City. Huh. I guess Bart must have bought some new games. What are they rated? <gasps> rated T for Teen? Another rated T for Teen? BART! What is it, mother? What do you want? How did you get these games that are rated T for teen? Oh, hey, I uh, got, a. Uh, I was able to bribe uh, Principal Skinner in order to let me buy those games. How? Did he buy them for you? Yes. Oh my god, Bart. W what does this game have? Let me look at the back. Alcohol and tobacco reference? Blood, mild language, suggestive themes, violence? What's wrong with that, Mom? It's stuff that you shouldn't be, like, looking at at your age. What about this next game? Does it have anything that's worse? Alcohol reference, blood, mild language, suggestive themes, use of tobacco. Same exact thing, and oh my god, look at her outfit! Ugh! Storm, quit meowing! 
Oh, dear Lord. Mom, why am I not allowed to play those games? Because, Bar, you're 10 years old. You're not like 14 and up. 14 and up? I don't really care. But still, you shouldn't be playing those games. I don't care. Besides, I played them with Millhouse. Mil Millhouse played this game too? Yeah. Heck, in Arkham City, there was a part where like he was trying to figure out like uh, how to um, get that red button. Oh, sorry. And then Killer Croc appeared out of nowhere, and Millhouse was cr was screaming like, "Ah!" <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Bart, go to your room. We technically are already in my room. Then just stay in your room. Whatever, Mom. Ugh. He shouldn't be playing those games. He should play like more friendly games, like Angry Birds. Am I right, Ot Not? Yeah. Yeah. I've had enough of this. All right, Target at 12 o'clock. Wait, let me check the clock. Is it 12 o'clock? 11.30? Ah, dang it. That was a half hour close. But anyway, all right, I've got my Target set. <laughs> go, 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 go! Wait, wait, whoa, 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 Bart! Homer, what the heck is your problem? I told you not to call me Homer. Call me Dad or something. Oh, gosh. Anyway, Dad, what the heck is the problem? Bart, you almost tried to kill me with that car of yours. Well, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was just trying to, like, get it to, like, hit, hit your, st okay, I'm not even going to go into detail. I was trying to make you feel pain. That's what. Why do you want your own father to feel pain? I don't know. And plus, uh, be careful with these type of vehicles, Bart. You can poke somebody's eye out with that thing. Uh, yeah, about that. Wait, where are you going? Uh, just to tell you the truth, Dad, um, I tried it on someone and this is what happened. Oh my god, Bart! Ugh! What happened to the eyeball? Eh, I just randomly gave it to a grandmother for uh, her birthday. Uh, wait, whose grandmother? Eh, I'm not telling you. <sighs> Whatever, but oh my gosh, Bart, this is serious. Sir, are you okay? Uh, move out of the way, Bart. Sir, are you okay? Speak to me! Uh, oh, hey, this guy has a, like a gelatin-like feeling. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Oh, hey, where are you going? I need to come play with you. Well, uh, I can't tell what's weirder. Me poking some, that thing's eyeball out, or dad, like, squishing that thing all around and stuff. Heh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, time to use this race car for other things. <laughs> What the heck am I doing on this table? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, oh! There you go, Bart. We're back in the kitchen. Where were you guys at? Well, Lisa, we got paid. For what? Well, for being in Lego Dimensions, of course. Wait a minute, I was in that game too. Yeah, but you didn't serve any relevance to the game whatsoever. And plus, me and Bart are playable characters. Yeah, but I'm not going to be a playable character till like, November, so, yeah. But, why am I not a playable character? Eh, I don't know. And how come, like, me and Bart's weren't even, like, uh, didn't have speaking roles in that cutscene in, uh, the story mode for Lego Jurassic World? Lego Dimensions, I mean. Uh, yeah, because there's no way that uh, we will be in Lego Jurassic World because, um, <laughs> it'll not make any sense whatsoever. But, yes, I had a main role in that game, but, however, they didn't use any new lines, they just had me sit there, they got a bunch of old lines from previous Simpsons episodes, and just put those in there instead. So, yeah, I basically didn't have any new lines in that game. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, so I didn't get paid as much as everybody else. I mean, the, do the doctor got more money than I did, because he got, like, new speaking roles. Same with Doc Brown, Marty McFly, even 
Even freaking Shaggy! Shaggy, for God's sakes! Oh, Dad, you didn't have to do that. Well, I have to, Lisa, because I'm a little bit upset that they didn't use any new lines for me. And I don't know about me, because I haven't seen myself in the game yet, but I don't know what I do. Eh. Oh, well. Yeah, so, but hey, at least I got paid a lot of money for having a relevance in the game anyway. I mean, you could, like, buy me for, like, $30. $30? Yep, I am worth $30. But it also includes my TV and my car. Oh my god. Yep. But I'm still disappointed at how me, Mom, and Maggie aren't playable characters in the game. I mean, you gotta have all five Simpsons in the game. Yeah, that that's too much. I mean, they want the cool Simpsons to be in the game. Ain't that, ain't that right, Bart? Yes, it is, Dad. But I'm cool. That's funny, Lisa. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, Dad, let's go spend something with our money. Indeed, Bart. I don't understand them most of the time. Okay, there they are. Alright, start! Hey, kids, wake up! <laughs> Dad, why did you wake us up? Well, Bart, you gotta go to school. You're late for school. We're not late for school. Today's Saturday. No, there's now a new rule in... I don't know what state Springfield's in, but... Anyway, there's a new rule that they now have schools on Saturdays. <laughs> Maggie, don't use that language in front of me. Oh, man. Well, guys, you gotta go to school. It's, it's Saturday. It's state law. Gotta go to school on Saturdays. Why, Dad? It's so bogus. Well, what the state says goes. Now, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Marge, come on. Okay. Come on, guys. It's time for school. Did you get, like, our lunches packed? Yes, I did, Lisa. Now, come on. All right, let's get down to the bus. Wait, the bus is already here? Yeah, the bus driver's waiting for you. Usually, they wouldn't wait this long. Well... That's new state law, too. Bus drivers have to wait 10 minutes for a kid to come out of the door. All right? Now I'm going to drop all you guys for a second. There. Ah! All right, turn the lights on for better better resolution for videos. Lock the, oh, unlock the door. And look at that. The bus is right here. Come on, kids. Got to go on the bus. Wait a minute. There's really a bus out there? Dad. What? Buses are yellow. That's white. Yeah, you're trying to fool with us, Dad. Oh, I mean, can't we can't have to snip that shoe over there? Well, kids, that's also a new state law. Buses are now painted yellow. I mean, not yellow. White instead of yellow. Why? Because it looks too much like our skin color. So, they made it white. <laughs> well, come on, guys. Get to school! The bus is waiting for you! I'm not going if this all this state crap is going on. Well, come on, guys. You're gonna have to get on that bus. I mean, I mean, look, I see children in there. Children, let me see. Dad, I don't see any other kids in that bus. You're playing, you're playing games with us, Dad. Yeah, this is a prank, isn't it? <gasps> to tell you the truth. Yes, it is! <laughs> That was quite possibly one of the lamest pranks I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah, me too. I got an idea for revenge. What, what's that, Bart? Bart? Do you almost call me Bark? Almost. I swear to God, Lisa. Anyway, I got an idea for what I should prank him with. What? Well, wait until next week. Dun, dun, dun! Shut up, Dad! Sorry. Wait, Bart, is this your prank to backfire on Mom and Dad? Yes, it is, Lisa. And it's going out to Jimmy Kimmel. Why? Because Jimmy Kimmel's doing a... Th Jimmy Kimmel usually every Halloween usually does, like, um... Parents, like, pranking their kids that they ate their Halloween candy. Well, I'm gonna do something a little similar to Mom and Dad. What's that? I don't know. But Jimmy Kimmel says he's doing it, so, uh... I'm doing it for him. 
Wait, what do you mean for him? I, I, I'm making a prank video for his show, so... Yeah, let's get this started. <laughs> well, good luck, Bart, I guess. Shh. Oh, man, Marge. That bus prank was the best. Yeah, we totally had those kids fooled. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, Bart. Did you go to school yet? Ah, shut up. Anyway, I, I got some, uh, something to tell you. What, Bart? Did, are you hanging out with Nelson again? Mom, I've always hanged out with Nelson. Uh, well, anyway, what is it? Uh, Dad, I accidentally, uh, dr drank all of your Duff beer. What? You drank all of it? <laughs> Wait, Bart! You're telling me you drank your dad's beer? Yes. Why, you will? Wait, this wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, you show him, Marge. You show that little brat. <laughs> you're underage, Bart. You drink a 21-year-old drink, and you're 10 years old. Well, that backfired. What backfired? I was trying to do a prank to get back at you guys for that stupid bus prank. Well, Bart, it didn't work. It made me cry. It made Mar Marge strangle you because uh, of you being an underage drinker. By the way, Dad, I, I didn't really do that. Oh, so that part was a joke? Yeah, I, I, I don't drink beer. You drank whiskey before? That was only in the Simpsons movie. God. Well, anyway, Bart, that bus is still in our driveway. Really? F why? Well, me and Marge bought it. For what reason? We're making a new business. For what? Well, we're not going to tell you, you're, you 10-year-old. Why? It's not... Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Well, <laughs> what, what are some of your options? Actually, let, let's, let's not talk about your business. I'm just... <sighs> Well, Bart, I got something to show you for trying to prank us. What's that? Well, there, there you go. So, how'd the prank go? It backfired. So, are you still sending this to Jimmy Kimmel? <sighs> no. It didn't work, so I'm not sending it to Jimmy Kimmel. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do, so see you, see you around, Bart. God dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ow. <sighs> Didn't work. <sighs> what, could I have, what could I have done to make that prank better? I really have no idea. But whatever happened, it backfired. Gosh dang it. I need to work better on my pranks next time. I mean, it worked well last year with Halloween. It Halloween. That gives me an idea. <laughs> Bart. Bart. Hey, Bart. Oh. Hey, Lisa. Oh, man, that was a good nap. Bart, why are you sleeping on there? What, on this black thing? Yeah, what is that supposed to be? A 3DS charger. Why are you sleeping on that instead of that bed over there? Storm's taking up all the space. Come on, Bart. You're small. You can obviously fit in there somewhere. Just don't be in Storm's way. Ah, who cares? This bed's more comfortable. Wait. Hold on. Let me, let me feel the difference between this bed. Sorry for bothering you, Storm. Alright, this one's comfy. Uh, excuse me, Bart. Ow! Oh, my face! Oh! <laughs> you hit your face on the darn thing. Be quiet, Bart. I, I still don't see why you had to sleep on a 3DS charger. Well, I don't know. I just wanted to sleep in a different place for once. It <laughs> what the heck just happened? Hey, Bart. Are you alright? Speak to me, man. 
It's me, Mario. What? Let's go. What the heck? He's starting to sound like Mario. Wait. 3DS, Mario, Nintendo. Wait a minute. Apparently, if you sleep on this thing, you get to act like Nintendo characters. Woohoo! 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 Oh, mama mia! Oh, great. What's happened to Bart? Hot! Hot! Yeah! But. Hiya! Oh, great. He sounds a little bit like Link now. Hot! 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 I don't understand why Link always, like, makes those noises when he chops enemies or cuts them or whatever. Eh. I'll never understand. <laughs> oh, great. Now he's something like an Animal Crossing character. God, this is, like, weird and confusing me. Ugh. <laughs> Yoshi! Woohoo! Oh god, now he's Yoshi! Ew, Bart! Go try to grab me! Oh my god, he's eating my hair! Yoshi! Oh great, what is he turning into now? Oh god, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Pikachu! Wait. He's Pikachu now? Well, that makes a lot of sense, because they're both yellow. Pika! Pikachu! Pikachu! Pika! Pika! <laughs> he thinks he can use a lightning bolt power on me. Or thunder... I don't understand Pokemon. I'm too smart for Pokemon. Oh, man, if there was, oh, there was a way for Bart to get back to normal. Pikachu! Pika! Oops! Oh great, he sounds like Bowser. Gosh, wait, I think I might know how to solve this. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to wait a few hours. Well, I guess that's good enough. It's not a few hours, but <laughs> I lied. Let's see if he's back. Bart? Bart, can you can you talk to me? I I better hope he's not dead. Oh God, a, a dead sibling. Well, at least it'll just be like an all sister family. <laughs> but but still, oh God, Bart, speak to me. Ugh, what are you doing here, Lisa? Huh, Bart, thinking that you're okay. What the heck happened to me? I had a nightmare where I was like Mario, Link, Pikachu, Bowser. An Animal Crossing character, Yoshi, all in one day. Bart, that's what literally happened. Oh, well, I guess I won't be sleeping on this thing anymore. Bart, that was never meant for people to sleep on. It was meant to charge your 3DS. Oh. I guess that's why they call it a charger. I thought it was just to refill your energy from, from sleep. That's not how it works, Bart. Now, just... Do something, I don't know. Just don't sleep on that thing ever again. I won't, Lisa. Oh, that thing's as hard as a rock. Well, I'm gonna hang out in bed. Well, at least Bard's now acting like a normal human being. Huh. Well, I don't know what else to do. Guess I might as well go do homework. Let's go! Oh god, not again. What are you doing here, Koopa? How do you know it was me? Because... You look familiar. Uh, wait, what? You know, I remember when uh, Bart Simpson used to play Nintendo games. Well, of course he doesn't anymore because he knows the Wii U sucks. Well, he notices your enemies in the Mario games. So, uh, that's what you look like. You look like one of those turtles. Well, I'm a Koopa. That, that's, what, that's what I'm supposed to be. Psst. Whatever. By the way, did anyone ever tell you to look like Frankenstein's bride? Frankenstein's bride? Yeah. What makes you say that? Because your hair. 
Oh, great, it always has to be my hair. You know, why is my hair the most recognizable thing out of all my body parts? Because it is. Ah, man. So I really do? I think you do. I'm not saying you, you are Frankenstein's bride, but... Well, I don't think I am. Oh, oh God, what was that? Oh my God, what was that? Oh, it sounds like Frankenstein's monster. Maybe you are his bride. Oh no. <laughs> hey, can I fit in there? No, this is my hiding spot. Find your own. Koopa? Oh no. <gasps> oh God, Frankenstein, don't crush my skull. <sighs> oh, Marge, Marge, oh my God. <sighs> oh, homie, it was you. Hey, Koopa, come out, it's just homie. What, homie? Who's homie yet? Oh, Homer. Heh, <laughs> I knew him before. Oh, oh, uh, hey, yellow turtle guy. It's Koopa. Yeah, Poopa. Anyway. So, Marge, are you ready to dress up as uh, the Frankenstein couple for our Halloween party tonight? Yes, I am. But come on, let's get dressed. Okay. Well, that was ironic. I said that uh, she looks like Frankenstein's bride, and yet... She's being Frankenstein's bride. At least for a Halloween party, that is. I hope she really isn't, but, uh... I'm gonna get going now. I'm gonna get my costume ready. Ah, uh, what a wonderful day to be Batman. You say that... You say that every day, Batman. Yeah, because I'm Batman. That still doesn't really prove anything. Ah, uh, shut up, Gandalf. Ugh, what the heck is that thing? It looks like a giant baby bat, man. What, what the heck is it doing here? Hey, hey, get out of the way. You shall not wait. What are you doing? Wait, she's passing. She's passing. You do realize that's a fake portal, right? Yeah, it's fake. You're not a playable character. You're not a Lego. Are you a Lego? Okay then. Then is uh, are you a playable Simpsons character? Are you uh, Homer, Bart, or Krusty? Then you're not in the game. Okay. Is she like under three or something? Because I don't think she should be playing around with Legos. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Uh, 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 thanks, thanks a lot, baby. Uh, uh, what the? Oh, oh! I should have like used a spell on you because you actually passed. Somebody actually passed me for once. Hey, Maggie, are you playing around with Lego Dimensions again? <laughs> Wait, where the heck did that baby go? Ah, who the heck knows, Batman? Yes, who the heck knows? Well, at least you didn't ruin anything. Huh. Well, at least I still got my figures. I really want to get more. Because I, I, I do really like Legos, and plus this game is really neat. I don't know why I, 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 sound, I, I sound differently right now, but ah, I don't care. I just like this game. Really nice. And I'm glad that I got it like a month after the game came out. Oh, sorry, Batman. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, Batman, did you seriously have to talk? Oh, great, now she knows that we talk. Oh my god, my toys talk. Oh great, she's gonna freak out, isn't she? This is the best thing ever. What? Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, throw a tantrum or something because we could talk. I'm not freaked out at all, Gandalf. That's, that's cool. I'm surprised that Traveler's Tale games and Warner Brothers games actually did this. Oh, uh, wow. So, uh, and by the way, your sister was here earlier. Yeah, what did she do? She tried to get into the portal. You told her it was a fake portal, right? Yeah. She knocked me over. She passed me, which is, like, impossible. When I say you shall not pass, you shall not pass. Yeah, that's true, Gandalf. That's, like, one of your most popular phrases, if not 
THE most popular phrase from Gandalf. Yeah, I know. Well, aren't you gonna play the game or what? Yeah, I will, but I'm gonna need some help. Uh, oh my gosh, who, who just opened the door? Must have been a cat. Eh, the only living animal in here, so... Well, I'll be able to play you guys later. See ya. So, that's a first. Yeah, somebody who's actually not scared of talking Legos. Well, there were things like the Lego movie and, uh... Whatever else came afterwards. Uh, other Lego things. You can say that. Well, can't wait to be played with. Yeah, at least we're not like amiibos and like are being scalped and stuff. Yeah, I mean, thank goodness I'm not an amiibo. If I was, I I'd be scalped the heck out of because I'm Batman. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's let's just stop talking. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty long episode. So, uh, well, see you all later, I guess. Go watch Lego Dimensions on the Other Games channel, please. What are we having for lunch today, Dad? Well, Bart. Today, we're going to be having hamburgers! Yeah! Uh, Dad, can we have something that's not meat-related? Well, how about me, Bart, and Maggie over here can have hamburgers? You can have something else that'll appeal to you. Anything that doesn't involve meat? Oh, well, yeah, you could, uh, have whatever that thing is behind you. Wait, what? Ow! Lisa, I'm going to kick your butt later. <sighs> Try, Bart. I'm going to kick you, kick your butt back. Ah, whatever. Anyway, Dad, you're seriously making, making me eat candy for lunch? Well, yeah, I don't know what else we have. Dad, I'm sure we have vegetables in the refrigerator. I'm going to go check. Storm! Who are you yelling about? Ah, uh, who knows. I'll deal with him later. I'm sure we have vegetables in here somewhere, Dad. Look, there's a tomato. Lisa, tomatoes are fruit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um... No, eggs don't count. Uh, 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 let me check in here. That's cheese. There's there's sausage. No, I'm not having that. Uh, there's... Okay, I don't see vegetables in here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is that green beans? Okay, I'll, I'll at least have that. That's good. That's good that there's at least something that has to do, deal with me. Ow! Man, I fell over. Oh, my gosh. Do I have any bruises? No. Bart, I, I didn't even knock you off that hard. <sighs> Whatever. <gasps> oh, what the heck just happened? Dad, did you seriously, have, seriously not see what the heck I was doing? No. I was seeing if we had vegetables in there. Yeah? I'm having like green beans for lunch. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, come on, Bart. Let, let me show you how to make a burger. Okay. Maggie, you too. <laughs> Wait, Dad, don't use Maggie. She's a baby. So what? Uh, she can learn how to, how to cook a burger. Okay, Maggie. Now, uh... Store! Be quiet! I swear to God. Alright. Alright, Maggie. Now, uh... Go find a burger. And, uh... Put it on here. Actually, I'll, I'll go do it. Hey, Maggie. I'll, I'll give you five dollars if you push your hand on that grill. Bart! What? Maggie, don't listen to him. Maggie, don't! You're not doing it! Oh man, you suck, Maggie. You suck. Ah. Bart, you do realize you were endangering a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, so what? She's your little sister, Bart. Why would you want to do that to her? Uh, I, I just want to do it for the fun of it. Bart, you're kind of mean sometimes. I'm not kind of mean. I'm really mean. <laughs> Well, guys, apparently there's no burgers today. Ah! Yes, I know, Maggie. But how about we have candy? Yeah. Okay. Maggie, you're not even old enough to have candy. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna go and have my uh, green beans. <laughs> Marge, why are you making all that noise? Homie, do you realize something? What? Why are we not in a blanket when we're asleep? Well, I don't know. There's a blanket over there! Why can't you bring it over here? Well, you see, Marge, if I were to bring the blanket over here, that means Storm is not going to have a place to sleep, and I don't want that to happen. Who cares about Storm? Just 
Bring the blanket over here! Okay. Are you kidding me? It's a blanket! Come on, it's not that hard to pull! Yes, it is, Marge. It's... Look at the size of this blanket. I mean, look at it compared to me. It's huge. Actually, it... Sorry, Storm. Sorry, it's just that uh, Marge is... Okay, there you go. Okay, now we can finally sleep. Good night, Marge. Good night, homie. <sighs> Do you hear that, Marge? Homie, I'm trying to sleep. Marge, do you hear that squishy noise? No! Listen closer. Here, here, I'll, I'll throw you up to the roof. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Oh. Ah! Cow! Uh, Marge, are you okay? Your neck doesn't look like it's okay. Ah. Ah, I'm okay, homie! But, uh... I heard it! What is it? I don't know. It sounds like the roof, the roof is leaking. Should you do something about it? Yes, I should do something about it. Bart, Lisa, what is it, Homer? Dad, what do you guys? What do you? What do you want? Why are you guys in your normal clothing? It's like nighttime. Well, why are you guys in your normal clothing? It's nighttime. Yeah, why are we sleeping in our regular clothes? Because I sold all of our all of our pajamas. Why? So I can get more beer. Oh my God, homie. Anyway, what's what's the matter? The roof is leaking. Can't you hear it? No. Oh, hold on. Let me let me throw you up on the roof. <laughs> Homie, don't do that. Okay. Well, I hear it now. Is that the roof leaking? Yes, it is. Now we gotta do something about it. And by we, I mean you guys. What? Yeah. Go fix the leaky roof. Gosh, dang it. Oh, brother. What do you mean, Lisa? I'm not talking about you, Bart. It's just a figure of speech. Ugh. Well, Marge, I'm sure the kids are doing a great job. Now let's get back to bed. Why are you letting the kids do it and not you? I don't know. I just don't want to do it, that's all. It's not my responsibility. It's not their responsibility either. Just go to bed, Marge. <sighs> so where the heck is this leaky roof g coming from? Well, Bart, it's from the, one of the most obvious places. Uh, let me throw you off for a second there. Well, ow! Okay. Of course, Bart. It's from the roof, of course. I mean, the ceiling. Why are we saying roof earlier? The roof would be on the top of the house. Anyway. So, yeah, it's in the most obvious place. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Well, yeah, but there's no water coming down. If there was water, there'd be a puddle right there. It. Hey, I see my shadow it. Whose shadow is that? Wait a minute. What's this blocky thing? It's following me for every movement. It's creepy! Ugh. Oh, Bart. Anyway, well, if it's not the ceiling that's leaking, then where's the noise coming from? I hear it again! Lisa, aren't you handling the problem? Yes, yes, Dad, but I don't think it's the roof leaking. Well, come on, Lisa. What other noise makes that, you know, the squishy noise? Nothing that I can think of. Dad, it just went past you. What? The source of the noise! Who? And what? It was Maggie, Dad! The noise was coming from Maggie! Who's Maggie? Oh my lord, Dad! It's your youngest daughter! Your, my, my youngest daughter, really? Where the heck is she at? I don't see one. She just went past you, homie! I swear to God! Jeez, calm down, guys. I, I mean, do you guys think I'm an idiot? You are an idiot! No offense! No taking, Marge. I consider that a compliment. Oh, hey, Maggie. There you are. There's my young daughter that I always remember. Oh, boy. So, Maggie, you were the one that was making the noise, right? Yeah, homie, she always makes that noise. Oh, yeah, of course, because of uh, her pacifier right there. Oh, of course. Problem solved. Okay, everybody, let's get back to bed. All right, Maggie, go back in your room. She needs to be carried to her room. Okay, okay. Okay, there, you're in your room. Why is she sleeping in here? Because there's really no other rooms in this um, house. Yeah, they are. But they're off limits.
Anyway, now let's now let's all go to bed. I'll go oh go to bed. Why am I stuttering? I have no idea. Let's go back to sleep. Am I allowed? No, sleep somewhere else. Eh. <laughs> Is the creepy shadow gone? Oh, there's my shadow again. Okay, thank goodness that one weird shadow's not around here. Wait. I could've sworn I just saw it. Wait, let me go back on the ground. Gosh dang it, it's back! Ah! Oh, sorry about that. What are you trying to do, homie? I was just trying to get up so I could talk, Marge. Anyway, welcome to Thorpe Park. How did you get the money to come to the UK, Dad? Well, in case you guys didn't notice, I, I was able to steal it from Mr. Burns. How are you able to do that? Well, Bart... Uh let's talk about that later. Anyway, there's one roller coaster I want you guys to go on. What is that, homie? It's Saw the Ride. They seriously made a ride based off that horror movie? Yes, they did, Bart. Now come on, let's go get in line. Okay. Well, this better be good. It better be worth the couple hours that we've been on the plane. Okay, by line, I mean be in a big pile. So wait, is this where the, where the line begins? Yes, um, Bart. Now, uh... That was weird. Dad was about to say something, but, uh... Oh, well. I'm first in line, guys. Out of the way. Hello. You're too small to be on this ride. How am I too small? Well, you have to be at least this tall to ride the ride. Wait, let... let Let's lay on the ground and compare the sizes to all the Simpsons. Bless you, Storm. Oh, he's sneezing right now. That's not good. All right. All right, yes, let's see here. Uh, all right, you're allowed to go on the ride. Woohoo! And the rest of you, no. Well, this is bogus. Yeah. Come on, I mean, I know it's, like, based off an R-rated movie, but still. Well, you can't ride. How come I'm not allowed to ride? I'm an adult! You're too short. I mean, let's face it, if we were to if we were to cut off your hair, you would be, like, smaller than your children. What? Well, bull, bull crap? That's, how we, that's what we would try to tell them, Mom. Oh, man, I guess we'll have to find something else to do. Gosh dang it. Well, I'm sure Dad's pretty proud. Oh boy, this is the ride, isn't it? Wait, why does it start like this? Where are the cars? Where are all the other other people? You're just first in line, sir. No, but this park hasn't even opened yet. How did you guys even sneak in? Well, you see, the the story about that is, oh, oh the line's starting. Not 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 the line, but the ride. Oh oh oh, oh what the heck type of hill is this? Oh, hey, cat. Oh, oh, gosh, I'm going over the cat. I'm going over the cat. Oh, gosh, my feet are covered in cat hair now. Ow. Oh, thank goodness. W where do I drop off? I mean, this is bogus. I mean, if there was a, if there's a roller coaster, there has to be a drop off. Oh, God. Ow. Well, kids, that sure was fun. It are you all right, homie? I, I think so. Oh, man. I guess that ride really tries to make you feel like you're actually being, like, uh, sorry, actually being killed by Billy the Puppet himself. Why do I keep falling? <sighs> anyway, as I was saying that, okay, homie, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Okay, good, good. Well, too bad you guys didn't get to go on. At least I went on it, <laughs> uh, but I still got stitches everywhere, but I don't care. Let's move on to something else in this park. Oh, boy! Hey, Bart, come in here. Oh, my gosh. What is it this time, Lisa? Bart, look at what I have. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Oh, what is this, Lisa? These are playing cards, Bart. Wait, are you kidding me? Star Wars has cards? Yeah? Wait, this is the tin that it comes in, right? Yeah? Oh, it looks nice. Oh, and it smells nice, too. Uh, okay? So do you want to play with me? Alright. 
you know how the rules work, right? Oh, of course I do. Uh, Millennium Falcon, I choose you. Bart, we're playing with Star Wars. This is not Pokemon. Uh, okay, then, uh, X-Wing, I choose you. Bart, you're not playing the rules right. Crappy droid, I choose you. Bart, BB-8's not crappy. He kind of is. He's basically R2-D2 on a ball. There's really nothing that original with him. <sighs> Never mind, Bart. All right, let's see who's next. Who's next? Uh, uh, another crappy droid. I choose you. Stop calling him crappy. Hey, I can call him however I want. First Amendment of the United States. Freedom of speech. All right. Uh, uh, Ray. Is that her name? Yeah. I choose her. Bart, do you even know what she does? Uh, no, I haven't seen the movie yet. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Ah, that's okay, Lisa. I've already been spoiled about the movie. You have? Yeah, there was a guy on Facebook who posted, like, spoilers of, like, um, everything in The Force Awakens. So, yeah, I've read all the spoilers. Bart, you're an idiot. You should have, you should never have read spoilers about a new movie. Well, I did. And, of course, I know what happens. <laughs> well, Bart, I, I know what happens, too, because I actually saw the movie without looking at, up those spoilers. Well, uh, hmm. I don't know what else to say. But I've been spoiled about the Star Wars movie. I know what happens. I know who Kylo Ren is. I know what happened to Han Solo. Okay, Bart, you need you don't need to go you don't need to go into detail. Sorry. <sighs> okay, Bart. Are, are you gonna do anything else with the cards? Uh uh, let, let's see who's next. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, oh, finally, a good character, Chewbacca. Wait, why is he green? I thought Chewbacca was brown. Why is he green? Bart, that's just like the card color. That doesn't make any sense. Like, how could Chewbacca be green? I mean, he can't be Oscar the Grouch. He's like Bigfoot, but he like gurgles like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bart, that's not really how Chewbacca's voice works. How do you know how it works? Bart, Chewbacca's voice is basically just a mixture between different animals. Oh, interesting. Oh, whoa, sorry. Let's see who's next. I want to, uh. Is that Luke? Is that Luke Skywalker? No, that's like Poe Dameron or whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, uh, who's next? Up? Oh, okay, okay. We got two good droids here and another bad droid. Bart, if you're gonna keep talking crap about BB-8, uh, you're you're gonna have to leave. Okay, uh, C-3PO. Uh, wait, why does he have a red arm? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, ooh, there's um, there's the black guy. His name is Finn. Okay, whatever. Uh, who's... Uh, oh, oh, boy, uh, uh, don't say it, Bart, don't say it, uh, uh, Bart, I know what you're gonna say about BBA, don't say anything, uh, he's, uh, okay? Get out. God dang it. Let me just put these back together, because Bart doesn't know how to play the rules of cards. Well, come on, Lisa, it's just like Pokemon, right? No, this is like Solitaire. Oh, what what is solitaire? I don't know. Well, then why are you playing it then, Bart? Just just leave, please. Psh, whatever. Who needs your dumb cards anyway with your with your BB-8, Bart? I swear to God, if you keep talking crap about BB-8, I'm gonna beat you up. Oh really? Just just try me, Lisa. Just try to beat me up. I I I I dare you. Okay, you asked for it, Bart. Okay. <laughs> This is not going to be hard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alrighty, then. I sure showed him. Hey, what's up, everybody? Bart Simpson here. And yes, we're doing it again. Please, Bart, not this crap again. Shut up, Lisa. Yes, we're doing it again this year. Maggie is going to predict the winner of this year's Super Bowl. All right, Maggie, so go ahead. Bart, you do realize that Super Mario Logan is going to go after you, right? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Maggie. Who do you think is going to win, the Carolina Panthers or the, De or the Denver Broncos? You think the Denver Broncos are going to win? Why is that? I don't understand that. She says she wants the Broncos to win because they have a horse on their logo and, uh, you know, Maggie likes horses a lot. Well, I guess that makes somewhat sense. 
I kind of want the Broncos to win too. Well, for the same reason Maggie is. I, I, I like horses a lot. Yeah, me too. Horses are just are such majestic creatures. Well, that's weird because I'm going for the Carolina Panthers. What? Ow! <laughs> Why did you fall over, Mom? I'm in an uneven spot. You see? These giant headphones. You know? Yeah, I... I, I think I know, Mom. Anyway, why aren't you guys going for the Carolina Panthers? I think their logo looks a lot cooler. Yeah, Bart, but we're not into Panthers. What's that, Lisa? Are you saying that you want Panthers to be extinct? No, I don't want the, the Panthers to be extinct. i just not a fan of their football team. Anyway, so you got, all three of you um, people like horses, right? Yep. That's right. Yeah, horses could do a lot of things for us. We can ride on them, we can have them as pets, and then we can turn them into glue. What? Yeah, Lisa, did you not realize that? Did you not realize that when you're making arts and crafts, that you're basically using dead horses to stick them together? Dad, that's, that's horrible. It's true, Lisa. Horses are made into glue. You hear that, America? Horses are made into glue. Homie, you're like... You're scaring the audience! I don't care, Marge. I like to scare the audience. Heck, if I'm gonna scare me more, I'm gonna take my shirt off. Homie, don't you, don't you even dare! Fine, whatever. Ugh. Well, let me, let me get the camera back. Well, anyway, guys, that was uh, this video, I guess. Uh, not really much happened. Uh, Maggie thinks the Denver Broncos are gonna win. Who do you think is gonna win Super Bowl 50? The Panthers or the Broncos? Put that in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Me too. Me three. Me four. Oh, nothing like a Simpsons family Valentine's Day dinner. Hello, guys. Welcome to, uh, uh, dude, why don't you bring your whole family along? Oh, hey, Jack Skelly. I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, I do. Uh. Why'd you bring your whole family here for Valentine's Day? I mean, aren't you supposed to, isn't it supposed to be just you and Marge over here and not the, the, the rest of these, um, kids? Well, you listen here, Jack Skeleton. Love, it's not just about a man and a woman, or a husband and a wife, or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or a cat and a unicorn. It's about loving everybody. Like, like, for example, I love you. Okay, that doesn't sound creepy whatsoever. Now give me a hug, you pile of bones! Oh, there you go. Now, now don't you feel better? I don't have skin anymore. I don't feel anything anymore. Well, who cares? Oh, come on, guys. Let's go to dinner. Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> I'm gonna step on your, uh, on the, on where it hurts the most. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, not high heels. Cow, 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 cow. Oh god, not not more high heels. Uh, these are clip-on shoes, by the way. Cow, 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 cow. Well, now that we're on a we're on a pile for some reason, let's uh have dinner, I guess. Uh, let's just lay down. Since there are no chairs here for some reason. This place must be pretty poor. Yeah, I think it is poor, because they can't really afford chairs. Um, we're basically the only customers here. Um, our, our dinner is being served on a bed, for God's sakes. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is pretty poor. But yet they have Jack Skeleton working for some reason. Okay, uh, what do you guys uh, like to have to drink? Uh, today we have the Valentine's Day um, special. It's, uh, it's just a... a a regular cherry drink. It's, it's really nothing important. Well, uh... I might as well have beer. I'm sorry, sir. We don't have beer at this moment. Why? Because this is like a family-friendly restaurant. We don't serve alcohol. Whoa. I'm gonna give you alcohol. <laughs> hey, wait, that's not even alcohol. That's your fist. Cow! Cow! As if I already haven't been abused enough. Cow! Cow! Ow! Yeah, take that. Am I the only one who finds it weird that we keep hurting Jack Skellington? Well, what do you expect? He deserves it. He keeps disrespecting our family, disrespecting Valentine's Day, all that stuff. He deserves to get beat up. 
But Dad, it's Valentine's Day, right? You you said it's the day to love everyone. Yeah, and you're totally not um proving that proving your point pretty well. Oh, uh, wow, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, um, hey, Jack Skeleton, you okay there, buddy? Uh, uh, sorry for um beating you up there earlier. Uh, are we friends? Oh yes, we're friends indeed, Homer. Oh really? Yes, we are. And heck, I'm gonna be so friendly to you, I'm gonna give you a friendly toss out of this restaurant. Wait, what? Why are you tossing me out of the restaurant? Because I think you deserve it. For what? You, your family squashed on me, and you hit me a couple of times. You deserve to get thrown out. Wait, wait, well, I thought you loved me, Jack. I thought we had everything! Heh. <laughs> And now for the rest of you guys. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, my hair, my hair. Ah! Gosh, they did, I failed. Ha ha! Shut up. Ah! Oh God! No! Don't touch me! Don't! Hey, that's my job. I don't give a crap. Ah! Whoa! I almost failed myself. All right. Now for you, smart brains. Hey, most people don't really call me that, but uh, eh, eh, eh. And now for the baby. <laughs> what, what the frick? Oh, oh, thank God. Ah, ah, oh. oh, yes. Just like my daughter. Oh, thanks, Maggie. You sure saved our butts. Yeah, thanks a lot, Maggie. You really saved the Valentine's Day. Oh, Maggie, how could I ever repay you? Give you a $1,000 very expensive crib? Well, okay. Hello, world. This is Homer J. Simpson. Have you ever wanted to stand up still like me? I mean, just look at these losers down here. They can't stand very well. Why are you calling us losers? We're your own family. Hush. Anyway. Well. Now here's your chance. Come get Homer J. Simpson's shoes. That's right. You only need shoes that are small, gray, and can fit a perf a person about as big as I am. So let me compare myself to this computer desk. Now if you were as big as I am, then these shoes would be perfect for you. So go get them today. And cut. Oh! Oh! Man, not, not even I can stand now. Well, why'd you call us losers in the first place? Well, that wasn't my fault. That was part of the script. That I wrote. Oh, whatever. Let's just, let's just get out of here. When are we gonna get paid? I seriously have no idea. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go off studying. But it's summer, Lisa. You don't need to study for anything. Well, I still want to get good grades next year. Well, you've got plenty of time to, like, goof off and, like, you know, not do that crap. Dad, you you don't really have control of me. I can, I can do this. So, bye. Uh, okay, when did she get sassy? Ah! Well, anyway, I'm gonna go clean the dishes, homie! Where did Maggie say she was going? I seriously have no idea, Dad. Anyway, I'm gonna go out with Millhouse and graffiti some buildings. See ya. Oh, oh man. Well, anyway, that was a good commercial. Hopefully it'll sell well. Anyway, I'm just gonna... Uh, I don't know, I'm just... Ow! Ouch. Whoa! This looks familiar. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Uh, Bart! I told you not to interrupt me while I'm reading news on the internet! Why, you little- Wait, Dad, no- ah, 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 ah. Homie, stop! Uh, what's wrong, Marge? Homie, can't you see what you're doing? Oh, uh, you're not even looking straight at me, you're looking up. Oh, sorry about that! Uh, can you see what you're doing, homie? You're basically imitating what's going on in that picture right there! Really? Huh. Well, no wonder why it looks familiar. I mean, it's just the thing I've been doing to Bart for, like, forever. 
and, and by the way, why is this like image like being in the, in the news recently? Well, Dad, I I basically heard it was because uh, people have been complaining about how this poster like kind of depicts like violence against women. Huh. I see. Well, I guess they do have a good reason for taking it down, but why? I mean, it's a scene from the movie, right? Yeah, good. Yeah, I I agree with that, but yeah, you can't really get with get away with anything nowadays. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you put something that offends like only a certain number of people, it has to be taken down for everybody, even the people who actually like this picture. Well, hopefully they don't like this picture because they actually, you know. But still, I mean, I mean, it's a cool picture and all. I mean, it shows like a per perfect representation of like the villain of the movie, who's literally named Apocalypse. Well, according to this news article, that is. I don't even know if that's his real name, but I wasn't paying too much attention to the movie. Yeah, I do kind of agree with you. The movie was kind of, like, okay. It wasn't really that great. Well, I have to agree with one thing. It's better than Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> yeah. But, anyway. So, I don't know what else to do, Dad. Well, I don't know either. I mean, we've got that news out of the way, uh... Guess I might as well... Uh, Marge, get your head out, out of the way. Ah! Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Exit out. There we go. I, there we go. Why won't it let me close? Oh, man, it took you forever? Man, what the heck is up with our laptop? I think you're just doing it too hard, Dad. Bart, I know what I'm doing. I know everything about computers. Oh yeah? Well, where the, where's the Q key at? Where's the Q key? Good question. Uh, where's the Q key? Where is the Q key? Oh, it's right here, right? No. W what about here? No. That definitely has to be the Q key, right? That's the shift key, Dad. Well, then where is it, Bart? Tell me. Well, Mr. Knows Everything About Computers, it's right here. Oh, you're talking about this one, right? No, the one to the left. The left. The left. Okay, that's way too far right. Oh my god, Dad. Move, like, one space to... One space down from your point of view. Oh, that's the cue, right? Yes! Okay. Well, uh... I guess that's about it. Uh... So? L lesson learned. If you make a poster from, like, uh, a particular uh, movie scene that will, like, offend people a lot, it's not gonna last very long, so... Yep, that's today's lesson on TCW Simpsons. Since when the heck do we do morals at the end of episodes? Nah, whatever. Eat my shorts. That's all I have to say. You want to know why I didn't start talking as soon as this camera began? Well, I just found out something that changed my life forever. I am a stuffed animal. Don't believe me? Well, I'll show you some evidence. Like, look behind my head. Like, what is that thing right there? Human beings don't normally have this. Well, you may say, oh, that's a ponytail, but that is the tiniest ponytail I have ever seen. Like, that is ridiculous. And uh, another thing, like, I can't mu move my pupils the way I want them to be. Like, I'm always looking that way. Like, I can't look this way, can't look down, I only look that way. And, uh, I can't blink either, so <laughs> my eyes have been like this for my whole life. Like... I want to be able to see what it's like when my eyes are closed. I want to see what... I want to feel like a normal person when I go to bed. So I won't look creepy when I go like this. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Not only that, I, I can't smell anything either. Like, like, like this for an example. Like, can I smell that? No, I can't. Because I can't smell. I can't tell this is bananas. I can't tell that's it's bananas, or if that's glass, or if that's crap. I can't tell what it is. And 
I may be talking, but I can't move my mouth. Like, I can't show you my teeth. I can't show you my tongue. I can't show you my uvula. Uvula? However that's pronounced, spelled, I don't know. But I can't do that. And, I don't even know, man. I don't know. My life's ruined. I, I can't, I don't think of myself the way I am anymore. Like, what? Ow! My head. Bart. Wake up. Oh, Lisa, you're touching my butt. That is weird. I wasn't trying to. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, do that to you. I was just trying to get your attention. Why, Lisa? What's the point? Knowing that, you know, I'm not a real human. Bart, we are never real humans. I mean, just look at, look at my hair. I mean, I don't... People don't have hair in real life, right? Like that, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure people in real life don't have my type of hair. Yeah, so... We were never really real to begin with. So... You knew about this, but not me? Yeah. Lisa... You never told me! Like... Okay, the other thing I forgot to point out, uh... People in real life do not have tags on their butts. I don't know why they would, but this is not what real life people have. And this was why uh, Dad thought that he had a heart on his butt. Now we know why. Well, now Dad realizes that he's a plush too. Oh man, Lisa. I can't believe it. This has changed my life. I don't know what else to do, but just... Ow! Come on, Bart, you can live your life normally, even if you like you're a stuffed animal. I mean, at least we can still move and stuff, and, you know, communicate, show emotion. Well, not really show emotion, I mean, look at this. Like, see? I'm happy. Now I'm sad. Now I'm angry. See? <laughs> I, I can't really change my face. Neither can I. I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna try to make, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to stick my tongue out. See, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how to make you feel better, Bart. But, uh, I'm pretty sure after you just said that, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get canceled now. Wait, what? We're gonna get canceled? Wait, 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 please do not upload this episode to YouTube. I, I, I'm serious. Like, I'll, uh, please, I'll do anything for you to not upload this episode to YouTube. Well, you could do one thing. What? Say that Lisa is the best person in the world. Well, Bart, go ahead and say it. I'll just stand behind a blender that's about my size, even though in real life it shouldn't be the case. Well, if it's to keep the show going, I'm going to do it. Lisa, you are the end of the video right now, please. Hello, everybody. And by everybody, I mean just Lisa and Maggie. Today, me, Bart, and Marge are all going to be doing a, a screenplay, as you would call it, for a movie that I'm thinking about a title for it, but it's going to involve lots of space action. It's going to involve a guy who knows how to use this thing that I like to call the Force. And then, uh, and then after I complete it, uh, 20 years from now, I'm going to have to update it with, like, you know, new graphics and, you know... Saying that one character, like, you know, shot first instead of, like, this other character. Um, and I'm gonna call it Star Wars. Are you serious, Dad? What? What's wrong, Lisa? Dad, that idea has already been done. It's already been done? By who? George Lucas, of course. Like, ah, my, my dear God, Dad. Like, if you're gonna do a play, at least do something original. Well, um... Excuse me, uh, if, if George Lucas already did that idea, uh, let me think of what else, um, I can do, uh... Oh, I know, uh, this will also be space-themed, but it's gonna be a bunch of people in a spaceship. They encounter a little creature that, like, you know, goes into their, 
like, not goes to their mouths, goes onto their faces, and, like, does weird things to their mouths, and then, you know, they impregnate them with a child, and it bursts out of their stomach, and, th and then, you know, it starts attacking everybody, and then, like, you know, yeah, that's how it goes. That idea has already been taken, Dad. It's called Alien. Well, that's not much of an original name, is it? Well, what do you expect, Dad? It was the first movie to be called Simply Alien. Well, yeah. But my version's gonna be different. Instead, I'm gonna be, like, you know, the main character. That... Just one simple thing is not gonna make much of a difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... What else can I do? Um... Oh, I know. Uh, I'll, I'll do a movie where, like, these four people, like, you know, track down, like, paranormal activity. Y you know what I'm talking about. And they, then they go up against, like, a giant uh, marshmallow at the very end. It's Ghostbusters, Dad. <laughs> God dang it! Oh, man. Hey, uh, do you guys have any ideas? What are you talking about, Homer? Uh, you brought us all into this. Uh, you didn't tell us we were supposed to have any ideas. Uh, oh yeah, I was right. But, uh, could they help me out here, guys? Are any of my ideas original? Homie, we've, we've seen all those movies before! Have we really? Yeah, don't you remember? What? I don't even know. But anyways, you, you guys can, like, you know, just go ahead and do it with your business. I'm gonna try to think of something original. <gasps> Wait, actually, never mind. I'm gonna stay here. I say we sing a song. I'm not really good at singing, Homer. You had that one song called Do the Do the Bartman, right? Oh, yeah, except for that song. Yeah, um, other than that, um, we are going to be singing a song where zombies come out, and, uh, and there's this guy at the end that, you know, says dialogue like, Darkness falls across the land. That's called Thriller. By who? Michael Jackson. Where does that name sound familiar? Why is the camera blurry? Okay, there you go. Weird camera. Um, I know. How about we do a song where um, a guy does not accept um, his ex-girlfriend's child because, uh, I don't know, because he doesn't accept it as his son? That's already been done, Dad, called Billy Jean, once again by Michael Jackson. Oh man, that Michael Jackson guy has everything. I know. How about we do a song talking about black and white? He already did. He already did that song too, Dad. Not only that, you did a parody of that song two years ago. Did I really? Black, 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 black and yellow. Oh, oh man. Gosh, I really am unoriginal, man. I, I'm gonna need to get my brain to work and try to think of something original. Well, uh, yeah, I guess the show's canceled. Uh, uh see you later, guys. Do we at least get paid? You guys are my family. Why do I have to pay you for anything? Ah, all right, let's get out of here, Bart. Ah, oh, whatever, this show is like a ripoff. And I was supposed to be a part of it. Well, uh, I guess we might, might as well follow them. They drove us here anyway, so... Yeah, come on, let's go, Maggie. Oh, what a, what a wonderful day to be a... What the... What is that smell? Where's it coming from? Oh, jeez! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, Maggie! What have you been eating? You've been eating beans? Who's been feeding you beans? Oh, me. Sorry, I forgot. Well... Well, I'm sorry, Maggie, but afterwards, no more beans for you. Oh, you're okay with that? Oh, okay, that's fine with me. Um, oh my god. I can't stand that smell. I, I, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Oh, this is it, Homer J. Simpson. This will be your final day of living. Homie, homie, what's going on? Oh, Marge. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, oh there you are. Oh, there's a horrible smell coming from Maggie. So? It's her diaper. It needs to be changed. Oh, does it really? Well, of course, Homer. You can't just have one diaper for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah, good point. Otherwise, it'll be just a big pile of, like, you know, just human waste. Yeah, so, uh, you're gonna have to change it. Why can't you do it? I did it last time. There was a last time? Ah, just go do it. I got stuff to do, homie. I gotta clean the house. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, man, I don't know how to handle this. 
Uh, it's been a while since I've changed the diaper, and I, by a while I mean like maybe a week or so. Well, not a week, but maybe like two days. I don't know because if you change like if you wait till a week to change a diaper, that'll be like really bad. That'll be really bad. But uh, anyway, okay, I gotta gotta see what's in here. Oh my god! Oh oh god! Oh god! Uh, don't throw up! Don't throw up! Okay, okay, I'm just just gonna go it off camera because nobody wants to see this. Okay, okay, um, okay, let's see what we got here. Um, oh my god, it smells t terrible. Do you have a bomb inside you, Maggie? Oh 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 my god! There actually is a bomb in there. What? Well, let me just take a look at it. Oh my god, it smells terrible. Oh man, I, I gotta throw it away. You, I'm throwing you away. Freaking terrible. Okay, gotta change more. Gotta change more. Uh, okay, let's just take the diaper off. Oh! Okay, no, don't, don't throw up. Don't throw up. Okay, okay. Gotta, gotta throw it away. Uh, Maggie, don't you dare urinate on me. Okay, okay. Oh wait, you're, you're a girl actually, so you won't be able to do that. Okay, that's good. Um, okay. Um, where's the new diaper? Where's the new diaper? Oh my god, I gotta find a new diaper. I gotta find a new diaper. Oh, is there anything on this, um, computer desk that's white? Uh, oh. It's a piece of paper. Well. This'll do. Okay, gotta, gotta put the oh, new diaper on you. Okay. Alright, let's hope you don't get a paper cut. Okay. There you go, Maggie. How does that feel? Oh god, oh god, don't worry, don't worry, I'll, t I'll take it off, I'll, I'll, I'll find an actual diaper, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, take the paper off, alright, there you go, uh, okay, um, okay, gotta find a diaper, uh, different diaper, an actual diaper, okay, okay, got one, I'm gonna put it on you, okay, Maggie, okay, Maggie, there you go, now do you feel better? Okay, that's good, oh man, I succeeded, man, that was, that was terrible, oh man, I, I got, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I gotta say now, that is like... Oh my god! I hope to never smell anything like that ever again. Maggie? What, what happened? Are you kidding me? You did it again? <laughs> Hi Maggie, what's going on? Oh my god! <laughs> huh. Can't handle a diaper, huh? Date it. Whatever. Oh god, ow. Come on, Lisa. There's no way your fidget spinner's better than mine. Oh, I'll show you, Bart. There you go. It's span. Spun, don't you mean? I don't know. I don't know what the past tense form for spin is. I thought you should know this stuff, Lisa. You, like, learn about everything. Alright. I'm gonna show you. I'm a fidget spinner master. Ah, ah dang it. Well, Lisa, I guess you uh, beat me at the fidget spinner contest. A uh, uh, choop! Was that my fidget spinner? Why did why did it go behind the chair? I don't know. Who brought this fidget spinner back up anyway? Oh, oh my gosh! Something just hit my nose. It was blue. It it had a weird shape. Oh hey, oh hey kids, uh, what you doing? We're just playing with our fidget fidget spinners. A fidget spinner? What's that? It's that thing down there. This thing? Yeah. Lisa, I think you're lying. What makes you think that, Dad? It doesn't look like a fidget spinner at all. Whatever that is, it looks like looks like those sh those uh sh 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 uh, what what is that word? What are you trying to say, Dad? It looks like those things that that, that uh, ninjas use. You mean a shuriken? Yeah, it looks like a shuriken. Are you guys trying to be ninjas or something? Because you know that kind of stuff is illegal, you know. Well, you're you're allowed to have the weapons. You're not allowed to like you know fight anybody with it or kill anybody with them. Well, I guess you got a point. But uh, what does this thing do? Well, you see, Dad. Basically, you use these to like you know um. If you're in a stressful situation, you basically just, uh, use these and spin them around with them. Like, how do you use them? Well, normal-sized humans, uh, use, uh... Here, uh, I have a hand sort of demonstration. You see, they put their thumb and this finger right here on these, uh, circle things, and they get another finger, and they just, uh, spin the whole thing, like that. Any minute now. 
Is it done spinning yet, Bart? I'm bored, Lisa. Can we do something else? Bart, I just want to show the audience what a fidget spinner does. I'm pretty sure they get the point, Lisa. Can this thing stop? It's slowing down. Oh my god, I'm waiting too long. These things are starting to get boring. I'm just gonna start, like, you know, leaving this fad. It's not that fun anymore. Come on, Bart. After just one long spin, like, you... You're done with the fad just because of that? Yeah, Lisa. Well, it's finally done now. You can drop it down. Okay, so, uh... How do we use them? Well, me and Bart just use our heads to spin them. Okay. It didn't work. Well, you're not doing it the right way, Dad. Well, how do you do it the right way? Hold on, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go get it. You basically put your head around those um those ends here and just try to spin them. Oh, I see. Huh. You know, I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go take this. But Dad, it's my fidget spinner. You go buy your own fidget spinner. This is mine now. It matches the color of my shirt. So. Yeah, that it's automatically mine. Ah, uh, well, I'm done with fidget spinners, man. Those things take too long to like, you know, fidget finish spinning. Bart, that's not what fidget spinners are supposed are supposed to do. You're not supposed to like, you know, play them and like, you know, see um how long they spin for. They're just things that you use to like, you know, calm yourself down in stressful situations. Well, that's not how everybody's using them. Everybody's using them just to, like, you know, show off, or, uh, Oh, look, I got a fidget spinner. I'm gonna go, like, spin... Oh, sorry, I was gonna try to spin around. <sighs> Data, I hate that I, that I can't spin. That your fidget spinner, or at least Dad's fidget spinner now, can, like, spin better than me in general. Uh, I, I'm just done with this, Lisa. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Well, I guess I better go listen to Dad. I might as well buy my own fidget spinner. Well, at least I made enough money uh, after getting good grades this um, during the school year. So, yeah, I might as well get another one. Jealous, aren't you? Oh yeah, I finally got my little hands on this Nintendo Switch right here. You guys jealous yet? Oh, I'm sure you're jealous. Are you jealous because I have these, you know, these two wonderful, pretty small. Especially if you're playing two-player with these Joy-Cons. Oh, this this console right here, which is actually a screen. Could you realize? Could you believe that? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, and what is this? Oh, it's a dock. Yeah, that's why we're going to Bugs Bunny out in this baby. Woo, man. And then there's the logo, Nintendo Switch. The they hear in every commercial. Oh yeah. Oh, you want to see what else? Here, come follow me. Uh, no, I don't want to show you that. Nobody cares about that anymore. Look at this, baby. You know what this is? No, it's not an Xbox 360 controller, you idiot. It's a Switch Pro controller. Y you know, look at this. It's got, like, you know, two little joysticks. And he's got these arrows, which could be useful sometimes. Not in every game, but yeah. And it's got these buttons right here. Oh, oh, shoot. I dropped it. Is it broken? I better hope it's not broken. Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, and I, I want to show you one more thing before I end here. Uh, how am I floating? Who cares about that? Let's just climb up here. Ignore these Wii games. Or the 3DS. Look at that. I've got three games on the Switch right now. Not very many, but ugh, I can't even get them. Let me push the TV. Yes, I can push TVs as big as this. Okay. All right, get these, get these games out. Oh my gosh, my head is making it hard to get out of there. Bam! Look at that. I got The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which I've played a little bit of that. Uh, I don't really care for that that much. I should probably play more of it just in case I change my opinion. But anyways, there's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, that's right. Nothing really different other than just you know new characters, updated battle mode, which that's really the best thing about it. Um. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, a couple other things. And then, my favorite game on here right now, ARMS. The shortest title, but my favorite game on there. Oh, yeah. So, that's all I wanted to show you about the awesome Nintendo Switch. 
Get it while you can. If not, then boo hoo 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 you. So yeah, you know. So uh, I'll I'll see you guys around. See you for the next episode of TCW Simpsons. I'm gonna go play on this baby right now. Oh yeah, it's time to switch. Oh yeah, I can't do it like that. Uh, how do you play on this thing again? Would you look at that, guys? That amiibo right there glows in the dark. Let me just show it to you. Yeah! Look at that. Ooh, look at how scary that is. Ooh! <laughs> it's a boo. <laughs> oh, let's see if the... Ooh! That works even a lot better now. Whoop! Mirror! Whoop! Mirror! Whoop! Mirror! <laughs> oh my god. Man, I am... I am having so much fun with this. Bart, can you get over here? <sighs> okay, fine, Lisa. Man, you're just ruining my... Amiibo fun, aren't you? Well, whatever, Bar, you're, you're, by the way, you're here to tell us scary stories. You're not here to mess around with Amiibos. Okay, okay, whatever. All right, so, you ladies, stay right there. Okay, first of all, I gotta close the door. I don't want anybody else to hear us telling these gruesome and terrifying and wetting your pants telling stories. Yeah, Bart, I'm sure they'll be like that. Oh, haha, -ha, Lisa, you're funny. But anyways, all right, now... Get yourself situation, si situated, not situation, what the heck, I'm, I can't talk today, man. Uh, anyways, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna sit right next to you and p face the light on me, because I am the main focus of this. Bart, you're, you're being, like, you're being selfish. Oh, yeah, Lisa, well, uh, actually, I don't have a comeback for that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so, do you guys have to go to the bathroom at all? Uh, no? What about you, Maggie? We're good, Bart. Do you guys want anything to eat? Uh, no. What if this story ha has, like, you know, puking or poop or whatever? Uh, Lisa, I'm not that immature. Um, okay, anything else? Well, uh, do you guys need anything to drink? No, Bart. Bart, we are good. Can you just tell the scary story already? Okay, okay. All right, so here comes the first story. It was a normal afternoon, and this girl just came back home from school. Ah, oh my god, this book bag's heavy. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, time to open the door here. Ah, good to be back home from a wonderful day of school. Oh, anyways, okay, gotta get this book bag back. Uh, yeah, oh Jesus. All right, just put you right here. There we go. Close the door because the cold air will get in here. And we don't want to be frozen to death, don't we? Ah, there we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Get my book bag once again. Ah, oh, man. I'm getting such a workout from carrying this book bag. All right, set it right here. So then, the girl then turned the book bag around, zipped the book bag open. I'm sorry I'm taking a while to narrate. But anyways, she looked inside to see if she had any homework for the weekend. Uh, no, let's see. Jeez. Uh, oh, uh, what? There's nothing in here. Oh, no. I don't have any homework tonight. No! Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hold on one second. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's going on? Bart. Having no homework is not a scary story. Well, it probably is for you. Well, Bart, okay, look, look, Bart, even though I'm okay with homework and I like doing homework, I'm also okay with not doing it all the time. Gosh, Bart, you are, you are so dumb at telling scary stories. Well, really? Can you do any better, Lisa? Oh, you want to hear a scary story? I'll tell you a scary story. You'll probably be familiar with it, too. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I'm gonna take this back, though. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a mischievous boy that liked to pull pranks on people. <laughs> and so, he went around the house, pranking everybody that he sees. First up is this fat guy who's looking at a pile of chips. Oh, man, look. Chili cheese Fritos, Cheetos. Doritos! Oh man, so many O's! 
Oh, man. I can't wait to have me some. Oh, man. Which one should I choose first? Um, Sun Chips. Oh, those things are garbage. Lays. Oh, oh, sorry. What kind of Lays are those? Oh, they're barbecue flavor. Eh, whatever. But anyways, since there's a big am amount of these, I'm going to have the Fritos. <laughs> oh, don't you dare eat us. Did you guys talk? Yes. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, man. All these chips are going to be mine, baby. <laughs> so anyways, he then went into the kitchen to prank two more people. One of them is a skinny woman. Ah, oh, man. I like my men how I like my chocolate. Wait, what? Oh, oh. God, the camera's on. Oh, shoot. Oh, mm, mm, mm. You, you heard nothing. Oh. So anyways, while the woman is looking at some dark chocolate, and apparently that's also how she likes her men either. Uh, anyways. But anyways. Sorry, I'm saying that so much. So the mischievous boy came up and then started to open the door repeatedly to get her attention. Oh, oh God, who's here? Oh, oh. oh God, there's nobody here. Is it some kind of ghost? Ah, hide me, dark chocolate! Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> and moving on, and then the last person he decided to prank was a baby who was sitting by a bunch of brownies. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be the best one yet. Hey, baby! Oh, uh, hello! I say, why isn't she responding? Little does the mischievous boy know that baby was possessed by a demon. <laughs> oh gosh, why am I even laying down? This is not a good idea. <laughs> so then the mischievous boy died and nobody was around to save him. Wait, 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 Lisa, Lisa. Back up a little bit. You're basically just retelling that devil story that we had like three years ago, but this time I died, which, you know, that didn't even happen la uh, three years ago, but still, man, you're, you just basically ruined the story for newer viewers. <sighs> Whatever, Bart, I'm just, I'm just giving a scary twist on this story. Do you like that at all? Well, at least I like that you made it scary, which, yeah, I will admit, it was scarier than my story. Ha! <laughs> So I win, Bart, but not yet, Lisa. I still got one more story to tell you. It's going to be a good one. One day, there was this fat man who loved to eat dark chocolate. Oh, oh boy. Oh, man, I dropped those. I don't care. Ah, oh, oh. oh, man. Can't wait to have my sexy dark chocolate. Homie. Oh, <laughs> Get out of there! Oh, jeez. Oh, man, it's so hard to get out of there. It... Oh. Hi, Marge. So this is what you've been eating, huh? Yes, homie! And you said you... I'm not even gonna go on the rest. I heard what you said earlier, even though I freaked out because I thought there were, like, chips that were, like, I don't know, like, scary or whatever. Wait, Bart, so you're telling me this story takes place not too long after my story? Yeah, 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 whatever, Lisa, but anyways... Back on to the juicy stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, I've been having some of your dark, dark chocolate, and it's, and it's delicious. Yeah, I know, homie, but you're eating way too much of it. I'm eating too much of it? I don't see how that's a problem. Homie, you're gonna gain weight because of that. Gain weight? <laughs> that's like, like that's never gonna happen. But little did the fat guy know, weight actually was gonna get on him. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh, man. Oh, what is that thing on me? Is that like a worker's lunchbox? Wait, wh why is it grabbing me like that? Oh, 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 haha, ha. you couldn't even grab me, you sucker. Wait, you're grabbing me by the foot? Why are you grabbing my foot? You're strangling it, oh god! Uh, uh, uh. Homie, you're dead? No! Ooh. Dark chocolate? <laughs> Bart, that story was like pretty cheesy. Like, how could somebody die by getting their foot strangled? <sighs> Whatever, Lisa. 
Okay, I have to admit that was a pretty bad story. But anyways, uh, let's go back to the bedroom, shall we? All right, guys, we are back in the bedroom. Uh, Bart, you do realize that the the you got a different flashlight, right? Wait, what? How the heck did that happen? Uh, I don't really know, Bart. But anyways, man, your Halloween story sucked. Oh, and yours wasn't? Mine was way better than yours. Hell yeah. Let's see if Maggie can tell one. Even if she told the scary story, we wouldn't really understand her. Ugh, okay, whatever. Anyways, man. Man, I cannot wait for Halloween. Uh, Bart, do you realize what day it is today? What? November 1st? Wait. You're telling me Halloween's over? Yeah? Oh, dear God. Hold on, I gotta warn somebody about this. Wait, warn who? Wait, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, Cuphead and his pal Mugman? Wait, wait a minute. Where's Mugman? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, hey, there's Buffy the Clown. Oh, he's, he's pretty cool. Kind of creepy at the same time, everybody cool. Oh, uh, anyways. Hey, everybody. It's Phil here. Welcome to the Season 5 premiere of Teaser Movies Puppets. And, uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, wait a minute. Where did that voice come from? Look down here. Who the heck are you? I'm Bart Simpson. Who the heck are you? My name is Phil. What are you doing here? I'm doing the Season 5 premiere of TCW's Puppets, of course. TCW's Puppets? Don't you be TCW Simpsons? What? It's the Season 5 premiere of TCW Simpsons, not TCW's Puppets. Shut up, phone! I don't care! I can't believe it! You're telling me that I'm doing the Season 5 premiere... I can't even talk! You're telling me that I'm doing the premiere of CCW's Puppets, and yet, it's a different show? Yeah. Oh my god, why am I even here? Ugh. Man, somebody tricked me. Ah. Oh man, so, that means CCW's Puppets Season 5 is still on hold. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh man, I'm guess, I guess I'm going to go back to the closet and be filled with dust or something, I don't even know. Well, anyways, that was really weird. Um, yeah, so apparently that guy apparently thinks that a, a different show is premiering today, even though it's a diff even though this is the show that's premiering today for season five. Really weird. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, somebody must have tricked Phil into thinking this is TCW's puppets and not TCW Simpsons. But yeah. And, yeah, it's been, like, what, almost six months now since it was first announced and it still hasn't come yet? Well, because of the movie editing software stuff, but, yeah, um, I don't have much else to talk about for this Season 5 premiere, so, um, yeah, happy Season 5 to all you T3 Simpsons fans, there will be more episodes in the future, and, uh, this is Bart Simpson saying, don't have a cow! Have a pig instead. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Is um. Are, are we ready to film the TCW's Puppet Season Five premiere now? Gosh, dang it! Oh man, I don't want to wait any longer. I've been waiting for months, years for TCW's Puppets to come back. Ah, uh, my gosh. Oh man, I'm so upset. I just want to cry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man. 2018 is coming very close, and I haven't thought about a New Year's resolution yet. Something for me to do better next year. I am, in general, a pretty good person, but... What can I do th that I'm doing good right now that I could do better at? Oh, I just can't think of anything. Oh man, I'm just going to think more harder on this. Uh, 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 come on, get... Gosh dang it, stay on! There we go. La da 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 Hey, Lisa, what's up? Oh, hey Bart. Uh, turn around a bit. I, I, I want to see you. 
Is that necessary, Bart? Yes, Lisa. Face-to-face -face interaction, of course. Can you, like, step away closer, Bart? You're creeping me out. Sorry. But anyways, Bart, I'm trying to think of, of a New Year's resolution to do. Like, I've done a lot of good things this year, and I'm wondering what I could do next year that's better. Well, you could be a cooler person to hang out with. <laughs> Shut up, Bart. What? I'm just saying the truth. Bart, your truth is more of an opinion. Ugh, whatever. I'm just gonna go do something I don't really know. By the way, Bart, what's your New Year's resolution? To cause more mischief. <laughs> Bart, that doesn't really sound like a good New Year's resolution. It sounds more like a New Year's... I don't know. It's just the exact opposite. It's not trying to be better. It's trying to be worse. <sighs> oh, man. Hopefully somebody else would come out, come out with a better idea about what I can do next year that's better. Oh, man. Can't wait to go watch the game. Oh, hey there. Uh, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lisa. Uh, how's it going? Well, Dad, I'm just trying to think of something I can do, like, next year that, that was better than what I did this year. Well, what did you do this year? Well, I passed all my classes. I did all the chores around the house. Um, I walked, uh, sent us a little helper around the yard. That That's about it. I, I can't, I'm thinking about what, what I can do next year. That'll be way better. Well, let me try to think. You can try to eat better. Dad, I'm already eating, eating well. Oh. That's a New Year's resolution for you. Uh, shut up, okay? You don't need to make fun of me, you know. I'm not trying to make fun of you, Dad. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> it, it hurts my feelings, though. <laughs> Jeez, can't people, can't people tell the difference between, you know, trying to help out somebody who's fat and trying to make fun of them? Ah, whatever. But, uh... Well, I guess I have no other ideas. I guess I might as well make my New Year's resolution just to be more like Lisa Simpson, I guess. So, just try to continue what I'm doing. So, yeah. That's my New Year's resolution, so I'm going to go do what I do. Oh, man. Did Lisa really think that I should, like, eat healthier? Man, she's like a bully, man. She, like... She's trying to, like, you know, de degrade me, you know? Trying to put me down. Oh, man. This sucks. Hello, everybody. This is Super Mario Logan. Oops, sorry. I mean, uh, Bart Simpson. Heh, <laughs> uh, Anyways, and today, of course, I'm going to be doing another prediction video where Maggie predicts who is going to be in the Super Bowl, but instead of her... Choosing who's going to win the Super Bowl, she's going to predict which two teams are going to make it into the Super Bowl. Ooh, what a twist! But anyways, so, you know, the conference games are going on this weekend. So, I'm going to have Maggie predict which two teams she thinks is going to make it into the Super Bowl. So, Maggie, um, there's one going on between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. Which one do you think is going to make it? All right, you almost fell off there. Uh, anyways, so you think uh, the Minnesota Vikings are going to win? All righty then. And there's another one going on between uh, the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Which one do you think is going to make it? You say the Pittsburgh Steelers, huh? Okay, you guys heard it here. Maggie thinks that the Steelers and the Vikings are going to be in this year's Super Bowl. Bart! What, Lisa? Are you trying to rip off Super Mario Logan again with the whole, like, little sister predicting the Super Bowl crap? No, 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 Lisa. That's that's not what I said at all. Maggie, don't tell her. I heard what Maggie said, Bart. Oh, yeah, what did she say? She said you are trying to be like Super Mario Logan. Ugh. Maggie, I thought we had a deal here. Oh, man. All right, yes, I will admit it. I am trying to rip off Super Mario Logan, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it, okay? You know, I just want those views, you know? I want to have those, like, those 4 million subscribers that he has, or however many subscribers he has nowadays. 
Bart's there there's no way this channel is gonna reach that many in like a million years. Ah, okay, whatever. Which, by the way, Bart's, do you still even watch the Super Mario Logan anyway? Uh, to be honest, not really. And plus, I heard his videos got uh, age restricted, so yeah, that's uh, things aren't going well for him so far. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But uh. Yeah, I'm going to go here. Uh, you heard Maggie's prediction, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the Super Bowl in the next two weeks. Go watch it. I know this is some kind of plug, but uh, yeah. And this is Bart saying, um, I'm going to go get out of here. Oh, man. Valentine's Day is approaching soon. I wonder what, I can, what I'm going to get Marge for Valentine's Day. Might as well look around this area. There's a lot of stuff to go around through in this area. Alright. There's a lot of fruit here. Look, it's SpongeBob's house. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to try to pick it up at uh, Ow! Oh! Oh my god! Ugh, you spiny son of a crap! Ugh! Ow! Man, I'm gonna get bandages for that. Ow. Oh man, look at all these these little oranges. Halos. Well, at least, at least it's good to know that they've went to heaven. At least they're not like horn oranges, like they came from you know where. Uh, you know what? These these are, these things are too small. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if she'll like those. Uh, there's more of those um, angel heaven theme theme bobbers. I got some lemons. When life gives you lemons, give them to your wife. <laughs> oh man. I've got a lot of jokes today. Some bananas. Uh, they don't look ripe enough yet. I don't know if she'll like them. What is this, marshmallows? We can have a campfire, even though it's like, what, freezing cold outside. Yeah, campfire marshmallows. See? This is made for this stuff. I think. Oh, uh, what am I kidding? Marge is going on a diet. She wouldn't like marshmallows. What are these things? They look like some kind of bed. Well, I could be wrong. It's a hard bed. I don't know if she'll like that. Ooh, a blender. What kind of blender is this? Oyster? Wait, hold on. Am I, am I reading that wrong? Oster. Oster. What, what the heck is an oster? I almost thought it said oyster. It would have made a lot more sense if it was oyster, but who would want to make oysters in a blender? Ugh. Disgusting. Um... It looks really nice, really shiny, really good looking than compared to everything else around here, since everything else around here is food and those hard bed looking things. Uh, I could get her this. But what is this thing right here? It smells wonderful. Hmm. It's plugged in. It's gotta be something electric. I don't know. Man, it's so hard to find something for March to get for Valentine's Day. Oh, man. What should I get her? That thing? The oyster blender? The hard bed? The heaven oranges? Spongebob's house? Lemons? Unripe bananas? Marshmallows? I don't really know. Oh, what do you know? Marge is right over there. I'm gonna go over to her. Hey, Marge. 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 Marge, would you please wake up? Oh my god! Ah, uh, homie, it tried to push me like that. Homie, homie, wake up! Will you please wake up? Oh, my God, that was even harder than. Oh my God, please not this again. You know, what? I'm just gonna turn you over and just. Marge, are you awake? I'm obviously awake, homie. Why did you push me off? Why did you push me off? You pushed me off first. I wanted to wake you up. You could have just. You know, tapped on my back more. You couldn't just, like, you know, throw me halfway across the kitchen. Well, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to ask you, uh, what do you want for Valentine's Day? What kind of question is that, homie? You think about it yourself. Well, you see, I've been looking at all these, all, all these, all these things way over there. And I don't know what I, what I should get you. So I'm just gonna, like, you know, show you all of them. Ah! Can you please stop throwing me? Ah. 
Seriously, homie? A majority of these are just food! Well, you like them, right? Well, mm, these oranges look nice. Um, that pineapple, um, you know what? I can forgive you, homie. At least you were thoughtful enough. I mean, it may not be perfect, but it's the thought that counts, you know? Well, thank you, March. Happy Valentine's Day, homie! Happy Valentine's Day to you too, March. Uh, hey, uh, you might want to turn off the camera, because, uh, we're about to do some, some things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and today I am here with March Simpson, doing an interview with her, and I'm gonna ask her some questions, so, anyways, how are you doing today, March? Uh, I'm doing okay! I mean, I'm kinda nervous because I'm being interviewed, and plus, why are we even doing this in a kitchen? No real reason, but uh, anyways, I got some questions to ask you regarding your family. Um, okay. So yeah, um, but the one question that's on my mind is, if you and Homer have bald hair, well, no, if Homer had bald hair and you had blue hair, then how come your kids don't have blue hair or are just bald, just like you and Homer? Oh man, that's a real good question, um, I don't really know how that happened. I mean... You would expect, like, you know, my kids have blue hair. Well, I don't know about Bart. Bart, Bart's, Bart would look weird with blue hair. But, uh, yeah, kind of weird that, you know, Lisa and Maggie don't have my kind of hair. Uh, by the way, how do you even know if Lisa, Bart, and Maggie's hair is even hair? What if it's actually just a part of their heads? Well, that would be kind of weird. Like, wouldn't that make them deformed or something? But, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Okay, so, if, um, are you sure Homer is the biological father of your kids? I'm pretty sure he is! I mean, I don't know who else I would have been with to make Bart, Lisa, and Maggie happen. Okay, and, uh, I think that's about all I, all I gotta say, Marge. Really? That's all? Yeah, um, I can't really think of any other questions besides just asking questions about your children and why the heck they have spiky hair even though you and Homer don't have spiky hair. I mean, they look like freaking porcupines for crying out loud. Hey, that's what kids are talking about! Sorry, but uh... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna still investigate about why your kids don't look like you and Homer, but uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, um, I guess I'll see you later. Um... I don't really know what else to do. I might as well make something using this crock pot. Uh, can you please go away? Uh, okay, whatever. I'll find out about your kids later. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm just gonna go away. I'm not gonna talk about, you know, why your kids look the way they look. Yeah, you better not! Okay, um, yeah, see you around. Can you please get out of here already? I'm trying to cook! Okay, okay, God. Alright. I'm just gonna step out. Um, one more question about your kids. Get out! Okay, okay, God. Oh my God, oh my God. Hello everybody, Pie Guy Rules here. <laughs> Get it? Because instead of like pie is in the food, it's like the number of... Anyways, since today is Pie Day, I am going to be ranking every number of from best to worst. Well, not really. I'm just going to give them a score. Uh, <clears throat> let me turn on the calculator. Show you all my numbers. Alright, um, first up, number one. It's obviously the best number, because it's first place. Okay. So I'm gonna give that a good rating. Uh, number, no, not number five. Heck, wh why not? Let's do number five. Number five, I am also gonna give it a good rating because I, humans have five fingers. And what else has number five in it? Uh, Mambo number five, baby! All right, um, clear. I said clear, okay. Now let's move on to number two. Uh, this number makes me think of really bad things, so, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give it a scumbart rating. Uh, because, you know what number two... Think of the number two for a second there. And think of... I don't even know, need to go on any further. Anyways, next number! Number, number 33. Why, why the heck not? Um... That's a good question, number 33. Uh, it's not a special number. But it's nothing terrible. It doesn't remind me of anything terrible, so I might give it a meh rating. So, uh, that would be what I think of the number 33, okay? Clear. 
Uh, number number four. I gotta do number four next. Uh, uh, forty-four. Why not? Uh, the number forty-four. Um, what else is there to say about the number forty-four? Uh, is there anything special about it? I don't think there is. So I'm just gonna give it a scumbart rating. Nothing special about you whatsoever. At least none that I can think of. Um, uh, I already did number five, so let's do number six. Number six. So, uh, number six. Okay, first of all, this number makes me think, if you put like three sixes together, it'll be the devil's number. I'm going to give it a scumbart rating because I do not want to be associated with Satan. You know, people say I act like Satan because of my behavior, but that's a topic from a different video. No. Ugh. My God, you guys are just this calculator, man. Uh, number seven. Lucky number. Good number. I'm going to give it a good rating. Because it's lucky. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Okay, number eight. Number eight. There we go. And the thing with number eight, it reminds me of a lot a lot of uh, octopus. That's like one of my favorite uh, animals. Well, not really, but uh, it's a it's a cool animal. So I'm just going to give the eight a good rating. And then number nine. Reminds me of that one uh, Tim Burton movie that came out a decade ago. So might as well give it a meh rating. And now, final number for the video, number 10. Uh, or negative zero. Nope, we are not doing that number. Because I'm pretty sure negative zero is a non-existent number. Alright, number 10. So, uh, this uh, is also a good number. I'll give it that. Uh, because, you know, five fingers plus five fingers equal ten fingers. Which is all the fingers you have on your hands. That's right, even counting the thumbs. I know some people say, oh, you got like eight fingers because, you know, thumbs don't count as fingers. Well, 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 shut up, guys. Okay, you know, if like, I don't know, let's say I've got like a piece of pickle attached to my 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 hand for whatever reason. And it, it just stays there forever. I count, I'll count that as a finger because it is attached to my hand. Whether it's a birth thing, well, it, it has to be a birth thing. So, uh, if I have a pickle as a finger, I'll... I'll just say I have 11 fingers if a pickle was attached to me. So there you go. That is Pie Guy Rules here. Signing out. Uh, that That is all of the first 10 numbers ranked. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you want to do want me to do numbers 11 through 20. So uh, yeah, this is um, Pie Guy Rules here. Signing out. What was all this about? <laughs> well, Lisa, since it was Pie Day, um... And by the way, you're the one who told me today was Pi Day. Yeah, well, that's what a lot of uh, intelligent people would often say because today it was March 14th and the first uh, three digits of Pi is 3.14. So, yeah. Yeah, so I decided to do a funny video uh, where I basically, you know, portray as, uh, you know, Pi Guy Rules. Because, again, there is a YouTuber called Pi Guy Rules, but the Pi in his name represents the food. Mine is going to represent the number. Ha ha ha. Not really funny parts. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm just gonna go do stuff. Uh, you, good luck with that, uh, that, that, that video you made. Um, try to see if it, uh, lasts long on YouTube. What? What are you talking about? I mean, it's not like I, uh, shut off a dead body or anything, or, like, almost made, uh, somebody kill themselves, cause, 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 oh, I'm from a noose or whatever, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty controversial time for YouTube, but I don't think this video will be, because I'm just parodying a YouTuber. Like, I'm not doing any any of that, like, disgusting crap like everybody else is doing. But, uh, yeah, let's not get into further discussion about that. I'm just going to take this calculator back. I'm probably going to throw it away. What would you see about my calculator? Uh, nothing, Lisa. I I'm not going to do anything bad to it. To be honest, I will. <laughs> I'm right next to you. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, Bart. Sorry that you had to witness that calculator. Let's let's just get out of here. Ah, oh, caramba. Oh, uh, Lisa, where are you? Uh, where the heck is Lisa? I want to give her another wet willy. Hmm. How can I find her? Who can help me find her? <gasps> I know who. Uh, hey, hey, uh, kids out there, uh, do you know where Lisa is? She's over here? Okay. Uh, wait, she's not over there? Where else is she? 
Oh, she's over by the Nintendo Switch. Okay, all right. Uh, she's not over there. But <laughs> well, then where else could she be? She's underneath the bed. Oh man, Lisa, what are you doing underneath there? Uh, oh my God, you kids are stupid, man. Ah, uh, uh, what the heck is this? I wonder what's um, wonder what's inside it. Uh, uh, ow, Bart. Lisa, you were in that hat? Bart, it was more than a hat. It was a different world in there. What do you mean by that? Ugh, oh, you know, I was inside that hat, and all I could see was nothing but, like, Szechuan sauce, a bunch of Mr. Meeseeks were, like, helping me out with stuff, and then there was, like, this random weird guy that appears every so often named Mr. Poopy Butthole. Yeah, kind of a, a mature name, right? Lisa, what the heck are you talking about? Worlds don't live inside hats. Oh, yeah, Bart, we'll go see for yourself. Okay, Lisa, I will. Let me get inside here. Yeah, uh, come on. Lisa, you're crazy. I don't see anything in there. Bart, I'm, I'm telling you it. Uh, thanks. Uh, Bart, I'm telling you, there is something in there. Uh, no, there isn't, Lisa. I just checked myself. And whenever Bart sees something that you don't, Bart is automatically right. So, uh, yeah, see you later. Ah, uh, Bart, he'll never, he'll never know the true experiences of the Rick and Morty universe. Hold on, let me let me get inside the hat. Uh, let me experience this world once again. Uh, oh, hey, Snowball, how's it going? Uh, oh, God, what's that thing you got? Uh, no, don't shoot me with that. Uh, ow, ow, oh, 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 oh. I'm never going inside you again. Uh. Where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? Who really knows? I'm gonna go double check and see if she's right about, um, about this hat. Hey. Oh, hey, Szechuan sauce, delicious. Mmm, ketchup and teriyaki. Hmm, didn't expect that. Uh, oh, hey, Mr. B. Seeks. Uh, yeah, I would like you to do something for me. Uh, oh, thank you very much. It, oh, where did he go? Uh, who knows? It's right over here, guys. It, where did the hat go? Uh, oh, well. That world got bad anyway, once Snowball started to come. Ugh, I don't want to get shot by a dog. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Five, six, uh, seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Homie, you're just going to ten! Oh, sorry about that. Uh, ready or not, here I come. Let's see, where's everybody at? Uh, let's see. <laughs> look at all those bottles. <laughs> just looking around for my family. I wonder where they're at. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, uh, nope. Not over here. Oh my god, is he seriously that stupid? Oh. Who said that? Bart, you just blew our cover. Oh, why you little... Did you guys do that? I swear to god, if I ever see you three in real life... Oh boy, bad things are gonna happen to you. Oh my god, what an idiot. <gasps> Who said that? It's gotta be you two, isn't it? It's not you? Okay. Well, there's only one person I know that would ever call me an idiot. Oh, God. Flanders! What? I, I, I gotta go find him. Bart, you almost blew our cover. What, at least our dad's stupid. Well, you do have a good point. If he was, like, that intelligent, this game would have been pretty hard for us to win. Yeah, pretty much. Oh man, where's that Flanders guy? I swear to... Uh, I don't know who. What the? Is, is the sink broken? Uh, let's see. Nope, it works. Hmm. Where's that sound coming from? Was it you? No, it wasn't me. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Where could that be coming from? 
There's no way Flanders could make that sound. Not only that, why the heck would he be playing hide-and-seek with us out of all people? Okay, I've heard that noise before. I'm trying to think what it could be. It's gotta be this cantaloupe, right? Nope. Ooh, the food must be done. Oh, wait, there's no food? This thing isn't even working. It's gotta be the blender. No, there's nothing inside it. What else could it be? Do you know where that's coming from, Maggie? Huh, I don't know what. Oh, Maggie, I found you. <laughs> oh, man, that was quite a game. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you stay right there. I'm gonna go try to find everybody else. But first, I need a drink. Wait, what the, what the? Homie! What? Man, my Coke sure likes to talk a lot. I'm not a Coke, homie. I'm your wife. Marge? Is that you? Yes, it's me, homie! You found me! Well, at least I found you. Okay, two down, two more to go. Now I wonder where they can be at. Well, I'm not telling you! Well, I don't need you to tell me. I will figure it out myself. No, you won't! What? Nothing! Just, just go ahead and play! Okay, Marge, thank you very much. Let's see, uh, where is Bart and Lisa? Where is Bart and Lisa? I don't know where they are at... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Where are they at? I know I've looked over here already. Um. Uh. Hey, Louie. Is Bart and Lisa over by you? Well, I don't see any yellow. So I gotta look for something that's yellow. What do I know is yellow? Oh, the cover of Nintendo Land. That's what. They're not over there. What about this game? No, it doesn't look like them. What about... This has got to be them, right? No? What the heck, man? Where the heck are Bart and Lisa? Man, they are such good hiders. Just like how you're a terrible person finder. What? It's you guys again, isn't it? Why do you keep making fun of me? Look up here, Dad. The the map can talk? Dad, below you. The fireplace? Huh. No, no, no. Over here, Dad. Okay, we're gonna play a game. If, uh, if you don't find us, you are, like, very, you know, cold and warm. You know how that goes? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, you're cold. You're warm. You're very hot. No, you're cold again. You're on fire! Uh, no, 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 you're just, like, cold again. Dad, we're over here. You're hot. I am hot, thank you very much. Dad, not like that. Oh, sorry about that, Lisa and Bart. It. Oh, Lisa and Bart! There you guys are. I knew you were there the whole time. Yeah, right. Alright, I'm just gonna take you both over to Marge and Maggie. How are you able to hold both of our heads with one hand? Don't question it. Alright, so there we go. Hide and seek is done. It took you long enough. Well, it took you guys a while to, uh, the, uh, uh, you can't think of anything, can you? No. Well, at least the game's done. Sure took a while. Well, I still have one question that's on my mind. What's that, homie? Look over there. Do you see that over there? Yeah, what's wrong? It's that grill. Why is it unplugged? I don't know, you haven't cooked anything on it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we might as well have dinner tonight. Right, guys? Okay. Sure, I don't mind. Yeah, same here. Yeah, me too, homie! <laughs> Alright. Well, nothing weird has happened around here. Let us go have dinner. Huh. <laughs> A summer place. That name's gonna be outdated in, like, the next two weeks. Uh, but anyways, thank you for zooming back out, but, man, it sure is one depressing day outside, like, this would definitely be a day that Depressed Dog would definitely be interested in. Whoa! What is this thing? Is this a giant cake? Oh boy! Huh. 
Oh, that doesn't taste like frosting at all. Tastes like my car seat. Is this supposed to be some kind of giant car seat? Hmm, let me sit on it. Oh yeah, it's wet it's because of uh, the rain. Weird. But uh, what the heck is this thing in? Is that an umbrella? Why does it have all these lights? What's the point in that? I don't know. Let me just look around this giant weird object. What the heck is this? Uh, I don't even want to know. Um, hmm. Let me see. This part looks like you can lift up on it. Let me see if I could... Oh, wait. It's locked. Ah. I don't even know the combination for this thing. Combination. This must be some kind of safe. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get a lot of money out of this. But I did feel something hot when I was opening this thing up. And money is normally not hot. What else could this be? And why the heck is like the camera blurry? Like, hold on, let me let me let me try to get the lens here. Ah, oh, that's better. That's way better. Sorry for like all the blurriness you guys saw earlier in the video. But wow. So strange. What could this object be? Hmm. Hi, homie! Oh, oh Jesus, March! Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack. Seriously? Out of all the things you could get a heart attack for, scaring you is the worst one? Well, yeah, of course, I hate being scared. I'm pretty sure a good amount of people do as well. But anyways, what are you doing out here? I'm... I'm just relaxing, that's all. Just relaxing? Well, do you know what this thing is over here? What thing? Oh, that thing! That's our new hot tub! Wait, that is a hot tub? Yeah! Then why does it look like a... Why does it look like a car seat? Well, that's just the cover for it! The cover for it? Well, you know, in case it rains or we're not using it? Ah, good point, but... When did we get this? A couple days ago? Wow, a hot tub. Cool. Man, I cannot wait to use this at some point. So, what's with the umbrella? That's for like when we're using the hot tub at night. For the hot tub at night? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Can't wait to see what that's like. Man, I cannot wait to use this darn thing. Can it fit all of us? Well, we're really small, Homer, so of course we can use it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I'm going to bring, like, lots of things in here. I'm going to bring, like, some beer and some, uh, and some more beer. I would not consider drinking alcohol in there. Why not? Well, you see, your stomach, you can, you can actually get more drunk when you're in a hot tub. I can get more drunk while being in this thing? Call me in, baby! <laughs> ah, that homie, he's always full of crazy ideas. Well, nice hot tub, though. Can't wait to use it. What is up, everybody? This is Bartman1989 here doing another Let's Play video on Fortnite. And since Halloween's coming around, I am going to be playing the creepiest outfit in the game. You see, it's Bart! <sighs> what is it, Lisa? I was just doing a Fortnite gameplay video. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. I'll have to deal with you later. Okay, uh, can somebody, like, uh, hold on. L let, me, let me just do it. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. No music playing in the background, so... There we go. And yes, that's every game we have so far on the Switch. Well... Four of the games that we have at, on the Switch, so... Yeah, there you go. Bart, can you quit stalling and come over here? Oh, jeez, Lisa, just calm your... Oh, wait, you're not even a teenager yet. Sorry about that. What were you going to say, Bart? Nothing, nothing. Uh, anyways. What do you want? Bart, you do realize what we're doing, right? Uh, just having a conversation right by the Mighty Eagle and Anna for some reason? No! You're supposed to be telling uh, scary stories to us, like you did last year. Uh, I actually never agreed to this. 
Well, Bart, uh, apparently the fans liked those episodes, you know, a little bit, so... What do you mean a little bit? Like, if it's a little bit, shouldn't we not be doing it this year? Well, they like it enough to, you know, want to see us do it again. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I just checked the comments recently on our channel. Nobody has stated, oh, we want a bedroom of booze, too. Well, sorry, Bart, but, uh, we have to do it. Uh, says who? Says, well, you should know who. L literally, like, who? The guy that's holding onto your legs. What? Oh my god, am I being kidnapped? No, Bart. <sighs> okay, let, let's just not do any more fourth wall references. Let's just talk about scary stories. Okay, you want to hear scary stories? Let's start. Oh, and another thing, Bart. Since you just wasted your time uh, with the whole Fortnite crap, we're only able to do two stories this time. W wait, no, no three? Nope, just two stories. Two stories. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's start off with the first story. This story began with a little boy who was, of course, searching around YouTube because who doesn't do that nowadays? Bart, please do your homework instead of, like, just looking at YouTube. Jeez, Mom, what the heck happened to your voice recently? I have no idea. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather recently. Just do your homework, please. Okay, okay, just, I'll save you for later, YouTube. So then this little boy then looked at the question, which says, write six to the third power out normally. Uh, Barty, do you realize that that is six cubed instead of six to the third power? Same thing, Lisa. Anyways, so the little boy had to write out what it was supposed to be. And surprisingly... He knew what it was, because, you know, this, of course, this little boy, of course, is supposed to be me, so that's kind of a surprise. But then, he, he realized what the heck he just wrote. Huh. So that's the answer. Six times six times six. Wait. Six, six, six? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm stuck in this little body. <laughs> Time to cause some chaos. <laughs> Seriously, Bart? A scary story with a whole 666 joke? Well, duh, Lisa. What else do you think about when you think of three sixes? Huh? Good points. Okay, now time for the next scary story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who decided to do an experiment on her dad to make him more smarter. Up up the work out the, the the kinks in here. Da, 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 da. Yes, I know my freaking keyboard is a tissue box. Don't don't remind me. Alright. Okay, Dad, uh wake up. Oh, oh, what happened? Did I, did I drink too much stuffed beer again? No, Dad. I was just putting you to sleep because I'm going to make a clone of you that's going to be more smart than you. Well, what are you going to do about me, then? I still have to decide on that. But since your clone should be finished right now, I'm going to open up this little chamber. There he is right there. Oh, my God. He's huge. Oh, oh man. It's cold in there. You know, that surprisingly wasn't the first time I was put into a... Uh, a refrigerator, or, or a cooler of some sorts. Ooh, man, it... Excuse me? Why did you not put me in that chamber in there? This got a lot of better drinks in there, like red, red wine. Oh, man, that stuff tastes so good. Oh, man. I'm just gonna relax over here, because there's really nowhere else to relax. But... But... You're supposed to be smarter! Well, ask me a question. Okay, what's the square root of 121? Well, that's easy. It's Green Day. What? Yeah, 21 Guns, is that what you're talking about? That's one of their songs, right? <sighs> no, no, gosh, it didn't work. Wow, Lisa, you made it even bigger me. Hello there. Oh, oh God, who said that? Uh, I I'm down here. W what? I can't see you. I can't move my neck. 
Man, are you really that fat? Shut up, man! You're fat too! Oh yeah, Buster! I'll show you a thing or two! Oh, I'll stomp you to the ground, boy! I will eat you up! Oh yeah? Oh yeah! Wait, how, how are you even, like, at my eye level? You're not even, like, tall. Darn you, Logic! Oh, darn! Ha! I beat him. I am the better Homer Simpson. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> 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 I am not sitting down here without a fight with you. <laughs> dad, Dad, calm down, calm down. Which one? He should calm down. He called me fat. He's bigger than me and he's crushing me. <laughs> Calm down, the both of you! <sighs> <sighs> okay. Oh man, that, that definitely put a lot of work on me. I'm definitely craving some beer right now. Yeah, me too. You wanna go to Moe's later? Yeah, sure thing. I mean, hopefully there's a size good enough for you. Yeah, I hope so too. But we gotta better make it quick. I gotta go film, like, next week's new TCW episode. Wait, you're on another show besides this one? I was never on your show to begin with. What are you talking about? What? Uh, well, there's nothing I can really do. Plus, you know, that big homer, he's been on the channel since, like, what? For six years now? Can't do anything about him. Not only like that, what makes this story, like, so scary? Like, sure, I just cloned my own father, but what about this story is really scary? Well, probably the fact that you just wanted to kill off our dad and just make an even bigger one. But, well, who's talking? Are, are you a ghost? No, Lisa. It's just me, the narrator. I'm just narrating your story. <laughs> ah, ghost! Ah! Hey, uh, hey, uh, mini, mini sized me. How come we're not at, uh, uh, Moe's yet? Well, I just gotta take a look at this orange little truck. Isn't it magnificent? Is that like a matchbox? I freaking love those things! They light buildings on fire, right? No, not that kind of matchbox. I'm talking about the, the cars. Oh, that kind of matchbox, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyways, let's go to Moe's! I'll be right with you, Big Meat! Yay! So let me guess, Bart. Those were your two scary stories for this year? Uh, unfortunately, yes, Lisa. So, yep. Those are the only two stories I've got for uh, this Halloween. Well, the first one was pretty short and kind of crappy, but at least the second one was a little bit better. What do you think, Maggie? Th th I Sorry about that. What do you think about the Maggie? Uh, yeah, I kind of think so, too. Whoa, what did she say? She, she said you should really stop paying attention to Fortnite. No way, of course I'm not going to pay attention to that game. I, I'm getting, like, lots of views on my Fortnite gameplay videos. Yeah, like, three. No, three million. No, just three. You've only gotten three views on your Fortnite videos so far. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to go get back to Fortnite, guys. Uh, just got to get the stuff set up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not Fortnite! That's Super Mario Party! What happened in my game? And... Is that a ghost? Oh, it's a boo, of course it is! Bedroom of boos, ha ha ha! I get it! Okay, whoever changed my game, I get the joke! Ugh, what the heck is this? Oh, it's dry bones. Oh, that makes sense, you know, skeletons. Halloween. Uh, oh god, Bowser and Peach are together. Oh, uh, that can only mean one thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's not think about that. But, why did my game change? I was playing Fortnite, but Super Mario Party showed up. We probably have a ghost in the house, Bart. Well, that does explain why the Xbox 360 turns itself on from time to time. And opens up the disc, um, thing. Strange. Well, um, I guess I might as well do something else. Uh, hello everybody, this is, uh, I forgot my username here, uh, playing Super Mario Party, and today I'm gonna be playing as Boo, and, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, that's the end of this episode, so, uh, see you next time, gamers! 
You can do this, Homer. You can do this. Homie, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, Marge, I didn't know you were there. I've been standing there this whole time. Well, sorry about that. Uh, I just, oh, sorry about that. I just want to tell you something. What's that, homie? I am going to give you my hearts this, um, holiday season. Oh, that's real sweet of you. Yeah, hold on. Let me just show it, show it off to you. Uh, okay, there you go. Take it. Take my heart. Homie, we've gone over this before. Gone over what? Homie, we told you three years ago, your heart is not on your butt. Well, Marge, I'm still convinced that it is because it's been there like all my life. And I'm wondering like why it's there. Like people say your heart is in your chest, but, but, but I don't believe it because, you know, it's on the tag on my butt. So and I can physically see it. So it's on my butt. Homie. Uh, I don't know what to do with you. Well, do you want my heart or not? Homer, what do you mean give me the idea of, you know, giving me your heart this holiday season? Well, you see, Marge, there was this song on the radio that I listened to recently, and the first lyrics were, Last Christmas I gave you my heart. Dad, dad, dad. You're not the kind of person to understand them, right? Wait, understand what, Lisa? What are you talking about? That song that you were listening to on the radio? Yeah. It's a metaphor. What's what's a metapod? It's a metaphor, Dad. Meta knight? Metaphor. Meta for what? Ah, uh, Dad. The word I'm referring to is metaphor. That's the word. Metaphor. Metaphor? That that's a word? Of course it is, Dad. I'll tell you what a metaphor is. It's pretty much like saying Describing something as something else, like say, oh, uh, mom, I don't know, I, I, I can't really think of any, but what I mean, dad, is the song literally doesn't say that, you know, the singer, uh, George Michael, didn't literally give his heart out to someone, like, that would be gross, but it's a metaphor for, uh, love. He's, he's giving his love to this person that eventually will... Gave it away the next day. Okay. I I think I understand what you're talking about, Lisa. Yes, Dad, it's that kind of stuff. I'm going to try to give you another example, if I can really think of one. Oh. Um. Uh, man, I can't think of any right now. Just look some up online yourself, and then you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, Lisa, I'll, uh, whoa, whoa, Lisa, were you trying to play dominoes with me? Uh, Dad, that's, that's not my fault, it's, uh, it's, what, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know what it is either, but I am going to take your advice and, uh, go look up these metaphors, so, whatever the heck they are, how do you even spell it? M-E-T-A-P-H-O-R. Wait, I thought it was M-E-T-A-F-O-R, like, it's, it sounds like it should be spelled like that because meta four and f, 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 f sounds like the letter F, right? No, Dad. You see, there's a reason why phone is spelled P-H-O-N-E instead of F-O-N-E. Because for whatever reason, I don't understand this, uh, the English language is kind of weird sometimes. But uh, anything with a P-H in it makes an F sound. That doesn't make any sense. Like, if it's metaphor, should it be uh, pronounced like meta p whore? Dad, I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't. I I agree with you on that. It, it should be spelled and pronounced that way. Like, it's pretty much the same thing as like pronouncing baloney as bologna because well, it's spelled b l no b o l o. N-G-N-A? Yeah. It sounds like it should be pronounced that way, but... Alright, so M-E-T-A-P-H-O-R. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna go look him up, Lisa. Oh, and a Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too, Dad. Well... I don't know what else to do, Mom. Yeah, dear, your dad's pretty crazy. As he always is. Well, at least he's not a crazy... Not as crazy as you know who. <laughs> Oh man, I love this new guitar. I'm glad I got this for Christmas. <laughs> oh.
Oh man, it's so fun to play with. Uh, oh hey there. Uh, what just happened? Well, apparently Dad um literally tried to give his heart out to Mom for Christmas. Ha! <laughs> oh man, that Dad. Well, thanks for the guitar. I'm definitely gonna be using that. I don't remember giving you a guitar, Bart. Well, if it wasn't you guys, then. Then who gave it to me? Da 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 Oh, excuse me there, young boy! Uh, Shrek? You're real? Well, of course I'm real! Stop touching my guitar! Oh, uh, this is yours? Y yes Well, finders keepers, losers weepers! <laughs> you better give that away! Give that back to me or else you're gonna have hell to pay, boy! Oh, really? What, what are you gonna do to me? Try to fart on me to death? Well, that's actually what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, um, sorry about that, mister. <laughs> if you ever try to do anything like that again, I'll do even worse to you than just fart. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll be good. Ah! Okay, I think I've had enough crazy stuff for one day. I'm gonna go make some Christmas dinner and then, uh... Yeah! We'll have some fun! Okay, Mom, I'm just gonna go uh, study uh, the history of uh, Christmas. Okay, hopefully nobody touches my guitar. What? Who's touching it? Oh, it must be that little boy again. Oh, I'm gonna go fart on him so bad. Get back from here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. I uh, didn't mean to do that. But, oh, little boy, I'm gonna go fart on you. Ah, I know I was a little bit late on this, but, uh, well, better late than never. This will be homie's Christmas present, so, uh, oh, he's coming, I gotta hide. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, man, that was a nice long, 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 get on with it! Uh, who said that? Ah, uh, nobody? Uh, I'll take it. After that trip that I've had for about a month, I'm finally here to open up my Christmas presents. Now, where are they? Is that a Christmas present right there? No, that's like too outdated. Uh, I don't think any of these are mine. Those can't even fit my ears. I mean, they're too big for my ears. Uh, oh, hallelujah. A giant beer can. Pop can! I don't know what that was. Oh man, I can't wait to have a taste of Coca-Cola and... Strange? Oh, sorry about that. There's no opening for this! What the heck? There's no, like, little circle thing that you use this to, you know, open, like... Huh? So weird. How do I even work this at... Oh my god. I actually lifted it. Huh. And I don't remember Coke cans having these little things on the side. I wonder what these are all about. Hmm. What's this here? This definitely doesn't look like anything that Coke would have. Up. Oh, nope, nope. Let me let me try to get it open at <gasps> What the heck? This isn't a Coke can! There's no Coke inside here at all! It's Mountain Dew! What the heck? This is... What? Ah! Uh, Merry Christmas, homie! This is your Christmas present! My Christmas present? What? What are you doing, Marge? Can you even stand up? Hold on, let me try to get you to stand up. Uh... uh how's that? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, homie! Okay. So... This right here is my Christmas present? Yeah, homie! It's your own little fridge! That's a fridge. I was wondering why there was Mountain Dew inside it, and I was wondering why it was making all that noise in the background. Huh. I didn't know. What a cool looking, uh, heck, get it? What a cool looking fridge right here. So... It's a little fridge, right? Well, yes, homie, I just told you! So I could put things like beer inside it? Well, beer cans, I don't know if you could put, like, actual, like, Bottles of beer in there. 
Oh, I wouldn't blame you. The space doesn't even really look that uh, big on this thing. Yeah, you can fit up to, like, I believe six cans in there? Six cans, huh? Well, that's about half of a 12-pack. And about a quarter of a 24-pack. Uh, and about one-sixth of a 36-pack. How do you know all this stuff, homie? You're not even that good at math! I've been hearing too much of Lisa talking recently. You've been gone for like a month! Well, I've heard too much from her in general. Well, uh, anyways, March, thank you for the Christmas presents. I do appreciate it. Do you got anything for us? Uh, yes, I do. I will, uh, I will show you, uh, later on. So, yeah, see you later. Oh, and it, 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 ignore that noise up there. Somebody's, like, vacuuming, not vacuuming, um, blowing leaves off our roof, so... Yeah, because things have been going rough around here recently. You know, it's been rainy, stormy. We had a power outage for like two hours. That was like not fun. How do you know all this? You've I I just said you've been gone for a month. What the heck? How do I know this? I have been gone for a month. How do I know that we had a power outage and we've had stuff going on in this house for about a month? I, uh, I'll have to think about that. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good, uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, December Ween, whatever you celebrate. Hopefully everything was good for you. Can't wait to look forward to seeing all your smiling faces for 2019. So, yeah, see you later. I'm gonna, you know, put some duff cans in here. Ah, typical, typical homie. <sighs> Hello, everybody. This is Bart Simpson. I'm just looking at these comments. These recent comments that we've gotten on our Season 1 compilation. And I'm going to show you these comments, and I am going to roast the asses of every single one of these people. <sighs> okay, okay, first up, first up, Dominic Joyce. First things first. What the hell kind of last name is Joyce? First of all, Joyce is normally spelled with a Y and not an I. I don't understand that. Okay, puns aside. He said, this is stupid. Okay, apparently he doesn't know how to spell. Alright, well, what, what, what do you got in your channel, boy? What do you have on your channel? What is this? Oh, a dice stacking tutorial? Oh, a bunch of, bunch of videos with your face on it? Um... Not much else to say, but, uh, yeah, you think you're gonna, you know, talk to me like that when you are really no better than us? Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. All right, all right, Kratos Ghost. Okay, okay, that username is actually kind of, kind of, sounds kind of cool. This person said, wasted my time with this stupid shit. Okay, let, let's see what you got. You don't have anything! You can't talk crap to me, and you, you got zero subs, and it's most likely going to stay that way. All right, this guy, he wasn't really as mean, but like, uh, I'm just going to make a brief mention. He said, this really isn't funny, sorry. Uh, surprisingly, this guy said sorry to us, but um, I mean, you don't really need to apologize for like, you know, hating our content, but... I mean, I mean, you feel how you feel about about our videos, but uh, yeah, these past two comments though, like, they they like um, you know, weren't really as kind. All right, and, and this last one, uh, I don't really know what to say about it. Can I buy whatever you're on? What does that even mean? Like, I don't even know. It doesn't make sense. I'm done. I've roasted these people, at least the first two, like, 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 the last two, I didn't really have much else to say. One of them apologized, uh, well, well, yeah, sort of apologized, and the other one, uh, I don't know. It's questionable. It's a very questionable comment. Like, what does that even mean? It does have one like on it, though. Interesting. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm done ranting. I'm just gonna get out of here. Screw this crap. Just, screw it all. What was Bart doing? What's that? Oh, I see what he's doing. He must have looked at these comments again. <sighs> Poor Bart. 
And to those of you who are watching this uh, and think that this video is serious, no, this is not serious. This is not how uh, we actually feel about these comments. This is just, well, Bart's reactions, you know. I, I, I'm more calm about these kind of situations than he is. I mean, yeah, like, this has come out of nowhere uh, right now. That's that's kind of weird, but, like, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. I mean, not everybody can like our content. That's that's the reality. Poor Bart can't even understand that. But, yeah, this, uh, th this video is a joke, so... You shouldn't take this seriously. I mean, even though some people do take our content seriously, even though we're made to make people laugh. Whatever. This is a joke. Don't don't take this personal. If we made fun of you, it's not serious. It's just a joke. We don't have anything against you. So, don't take this, you know, seriously. I've said that a lot of times, but yeah, just uh just don't worry about it. Um, it's okay that you don't like our videos. That's uh, that's perfectly okay. Just, um, yeah. This is a joke. Like I've mentioned before. I'm repeating myself. I should really get going. Yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Or at least the next uh, ten episodes uh, after we finish the show off. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Eat my shorts, noob. <laughs> Bart, what are you doing? I play Smash Brothers, Lisa. What does it look like? You do realize the TV's not on, right? <sighs> okay, okay. T t to be honest, uh, I was just pretending to play Smash Brothers because I don't want to do outside chores right now. I know it's nice outside, but like... Why today, out of all days, to do chores? Well, because there's lots of sticks and leaves to pick up, and... Yeah, that's kind of the reason why we're doing it. Oh, that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Well, that's life, Bart. You, you gotta deal with it. But, uh... Anyway, speaking of Smash Brothers, uh, I, I did, uh... Discover something interesting recently on the internet related to that game. What's that? Did they finally announce the next DLC fighter? I hope it's Cuphead. No. Did they announce uh, brand new stages? Nope. New music? No. A Super Smash Brothers 6? No, Bart. It's about Stage Builder. Uh, I already know about Stage Builder. I have yet to try it, but I, I already know about it. Okay, but this relates to Stage Builder. Now, recently, uh, there have been stages uh, that fans, some fans have created recently in Smash Bros. Ultimate that had, has the transgender flag on it. What? Okay, okay, first things first, a little minor rant. That is the most bland idea for a stage ever. It's just a simple rectangle. Like, what, what is there more to do? It's pretty much just like a fat version of Final Destination. Come on, that's, that's, that, that's lame. That's really lame. Well, that's what some people have done, Bart. And apparently, um, Nintendo has recently, you know, removed those stages and I guess banned the users that made those stages. Wow, really? Serves them up right for making such crappy stages. Oh, it's more than that, Bart. Uh, Nintendo just doesn't want, like, any, you know, religion or politics to be referenced in any uh, fan-created stages. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes a good point. Like, first of all, like, wh why are you making a transgender flag stage for Smash Brothers? First of all, like, it's a video game, like, stuff happens, you know, that doesn't relate to politics and religion. You, you're, you're, you play video games to have fun and to have a good time. You don't play it to support politics or religion. You play video games to do this. You see? Yeah, I definitely see that, Bart. But... I, I just wanted to point that out, and I guess because of this, that kind of makes Nintendo like the first publicly, I, I guess somewhat publicly announced anti-SJW company. Well, yeah, good for them. Good for Nintendo for not, you know, being a pussy about things, and yeah, getting rid of stages that relate to, you know, SJW crap. Yeah, 
I wish I could say the same thing about Disney. Yeah, now that we're owned by that company. Yep. Well, come on, Bart. We, we gotta start picking up, you know, leaves and sticks. Gosh darn it. You know what? Screw that. I'm actually gonna go play Smash Brothers. Bart! Do your chores! Yes, coming, Mom. All right, there she is, guys. Uh, Bart, wake her up. Okay. Maggie. Maggie. Maggie! <laughs> well, good to see that you're awake, Maggie. Okay. Uh, you're probably wondering why we're in a hat, right? Well, uh... Dad, uh, our dad said, well, we should take our next vacation in a hat. I don't, I don't know why either, Maggie. We could have just used a car, but like, think about it for a second. Uh, the cars out in our driveway are too big for us. Yeah, we uh, can't really, you know, drive in a car because, well, look at the size of my hands compared to a steering wheel, like... I can't do that, come on. So we are going to take our next family trip in this hat. Unfortunately, there's not that much room, Maggie, so you're just going to have to squeeze in there. Come on, Maggie, it's not going to be a vacation without you. Who's going to take care of you? You can't take care of yourself, Maggie, you're just a baby. Come on, get in the hat. Ow, 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 What's that, Bart? Whatever. Okay, everybody. Now let's hop to it. Let's go, let's go, let's go Flintstone style. I don't know why that took me a while to say. Simpsons, meet the Simpsons. We're inside a hat. We're going on vacation. Ow! Live action Dumbo. Live action Aladdin! Live action The Lion King! What's next? Now that you own us now, Disney, are you gonna be making live action Simpsons? Okay, please, please don't get any ideas, but. Yeah. Animated movies, or just animated characters in general, get live action movies. Uh, later on this week, we are gonna be getting Detective Pikachu, which, uh. To be honest, that one actually looks the most interesting out of all of them. I mean. I mean, yeah, it, it, the character designs do look a little weird, but hey, at least they relate to more to, you know, Pokemon, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Bart's really looking forward to it, I know that for sure, he's quite a Pokemon fan. And, but then the Sonic movie, though, oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> what were they thinking with his design? Apparently, Sonic's design was so bad that the director of the Sonic movie promised, oh, we we're gonna change his design before the release date of the movie, which is, like, in November. But, but that's gonna be like six months. Do you know how long it takes to like, you know, redesign a character, like animate it? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure like the people who make Sonic already had like a good chunk of the movie done, but now that they gotta like go back to the drawing boards and redesign him, that's, that's gonna take a lot of work. And chances are they're probably not gonna change the budget for the movie, so there's a good chance they're probably gonna be working overtime, unpaid overtime for that. And I, I feel I feel bad for you guys if that's going to be the case. If any of you Sonic movie animators that are watching this, which I highly doubt it, but yeah, I, I feel sorry for you guys. You're going to have to deal with this. Uh, first of all, in my opinion, they should have like changed the design for Sonic as soon as the first poster came out. <sighs> but uh, yeah, that, that whole uh, overtime thing, that kind of reminded me of, that, of Sausage Party, you know. That movie I heard got, you know, the animators, like, having to, you know, work unpaid overtime to finish the movie, and yeah. Were they even credited at all in the credits? I don't think so. That that sucks even more. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, my only question is, wh wh what's the purpose of, like, you know, making, you know, live-action movies of, like, animated characters? Like, first of all, like, some characters do not work very well in in, like, the live-action world. Like, God, can you imagine if they make live-action Phineas and Ferb? S Jesus Christ. Okay, um... 
Yeah, it'll be really weird. It'd be very weird. Okay, some of you are probably wondering what video I'm watching. No, this is not a Naked Birds Mania video. This is just a video by uh, one of our fans, Mr. Feather 130 It was a, uh, it was a video he did five years ago. Uh, his own version of uh, you know our history with Naked Birds Mania, or at least up till 2014. I don't know. Just kind of watching this out of random because you know we do have Naked Birds Mania Building Friendship coming out this month, which uh, we've already got like the first uh, four parts done. So, Tyler did, uh, th thought about it, he, he did, he says that, like, if, well, he gets the movie, uh, production-wise, if he gets the movie done, like, by the end of this week, then he might release it at an earlier release date than normal, so, ugh, excuse me, stay tuned for more news on that, guys, but yeah, I just wanted to do uh, a bit of a rant about animated, you know, well, no, live-action movies based on animated characters from, like, you know, movies, other animated movies, or, or video games, etc., etc. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, there's my family over there. I just want to talk to them. Hey, guys! Ow! Ah! What a depressing day outside! It's raining! It's pouring! <sighs> okay, now that my back's all fixed and I'm awake, now time to go for my walk. <gasps> Who are you? I was gonna ask the same thing about you, mister! Uh, uh, my name is, uh, my name is Gordon, I, I think. I don't remember at this point. Uh, what's, what's your name there, little lady? My name is Marge Simpson? I didn't even know your last name, but, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, nice to meet you. Wait a minute! Homie has told me about you before! Are you, are you that one old guy dude that he talks about? Old guy dude? Are you talking about his dad? No! It's a different one! He, he looks just like you! Wait, Homer... I think I remember that name before. Isn't he like, I don't know, maybe like, uh, about, let's say, this big? No, he's a lot smaller than that! Oh, I guess he must have lost a lot of weight. Lost a lot of weight? What are you talking about? Uh, you said he was about your size, and I was describing him in a different way. I don't know what other reasons there could be for that to happen. I assume he did lost weight. If that's the case, congratulations to him. No, no! Uh, you're, we're talking about the same person, right? Homer Simpson? Yeah! Huh. Which is weird. I remember him being pretty big. You apparently said he's a different size, and yet... Huh. What is this, like a Mandela effect kind of crap? Or am I just... I don't know at this point. My mind is like... Uh... What just happened? Hey, Gordon! Uh... Oh, jeez! I hope he's okay! Uh, I'm okay. I, I, I'm just gonna rest. Again. Well, if you, uh, if you say so. Nah. Bart? We're gonna, go, we're gonna go get dinner, we'll be right back. Okay, Homer. Don't think about eating anything before we get food! <sighs> yes, Mom. Yeah, right. Oh, man, I'm... I can't wait that long for food. I gotta have something now, and... Oh... Cheese balls. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm a little immature. Oh, how do I get this open? What is this stuff? Why is there this plastic wrap around the, the container? Such bull crap. Oh, God, God, oh, why is this so hard? This is like an easy snack, man. Like, this is something you could, like, just eat with your hands. Come on. Maybe I should use my feet. Alright. Come on. Come on, feet. Do your work. Nope, that's not gonna work either. <gasps> Wait! My hair! That's it! Ah! Ow! 
Ow! Yeah! Not working. I gotta find some tool. Can't use my own body, apparently. Mm. Oh! A pen! Perfect! Alright. Just get almost there. Come on. Maybe if I do it with the point on. Darn it! <sighs> that didn't work. Maybe the charger. Maybe the charger might work. Come on. Ah, jeez. Are you... Ah, jeez, man. Oh, deodorant. Wait, that's not... Oh, that could have been bad. That's not deodorant. That's fragrance stuff. Oh, oh, oh God. That thing was close to falling. I'd be in so much trouble. There's got to be something around here that I can use. Maybe the drawers. Anything. Oh, yeah, baby. I found the ultimate answer. A notebook. There we go. <sighs> Eat my shorts, notebook. Ah. Okay. How about tape? Nope. That's not in it either. Uh. Hmm. I know. Tape measure. If tape can't work, why don't I tape? Measure. Screw that. Um, glue. There we go. Glue always fixes things. Apparently not. Freaking cheese balls. Get rid of that. Oh, what's this? Hmm. How do I use this? No. Oh, it opens up. What happens when I do this? Wait, I made a little snip. I made a tear. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, I got I got it open. Problem is That was only step 1. Ah. <laughs> Bart, I don't mean to alarm you, but we only have five more episodes left until, the, until this show gets cancelled. Ah! Hmm. Yes. This seems very questionable. Oh, uh, hello everybody watching this video. This is Lisa Simpson here. Just taking a look around Google Images to try and figure out one question. Do me, Bart, and Maggie have hair? And we've always thought about this for a while because, for one thing, if you guys don't know, our hair does not resemble our, our, our parents' hair in any way. So, I've been wondering, like, how is this possible? Is what we have on our head hair? So, I noticed there were a couple images that apparently... There was one episode of The Simpsons, I'm talking about the actual Simpsons, not this series that you're watching right now, but apparently there was a particular shot where you see my skeleton and Bart's skeleton, and the heads are exactly the same, you know, without the skin, as it is with skin. And it makes you wonder, is that our hair, or is it just a part of our heads? Which in reality... That means we don't have hair. But, little did you guys know, before The Simpsons became a TV series, we were a series of shorts on another Fox series called The Tracy Ullman Show. And this was from one of the shorts where Bart got a haircut. That's right, a hair cut. So that means, according to this image right here, and I guess that whole entire short in general, we have hair. So, which one is it? I'm, I'm, I, like, I'm trying to find answers, but then instead they're giving me even more questions. Do we have hair or not? I, I guess that question will never be figured out. Well, I think I know what I'm doing today. I'm going to go get a haircut myself, and I'm going to see if it comes off well, or if part of my skin's going to come off. You're going to see my brain. I'll see you all later. 
Well, Maggie does have a bow on her head. So, and normally bows go on people's heads when they have hair. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, maybe we do have hair after all. Hmm, interesting. What was that? Oh, hello, Lisa. Hello, Maggie. Hey, Dad. What you got there? Oh, I was at Box Lunch recently, and I got myself some Box Lunch. But, Dad, Box Lunch is... I know. I know. It's a great place. Great place to get food. So, anyways, uh, first thing I... Wow, the bag toppled over. Okay. Stop toppling over. Man, I... I'm sorry. I almost got you there. It's... It, it's fine, Dad. Okay. First thing I want to show you is the ice cream. Now, I know dessert comes last, but I'm going to show this first because it's so huge, so delicious, I cannot wait to eat it. But, Dad, that ice cream is, I know the ice cream is so big, and it's got a weird texture to it. Maybe that's how they're doing ice cream now. Dad, Dad. Yes, honey? You do realize what ice cream does, right? Yes, it uh, satisfies you. It makes you feel cold inside. It can give you a brain freeze if you eat too much. Dad, Dad, that's not what I'm saying. You do realize that ice cream melts at warm temperatures. Oh, what's the temperature like inside? It's like, like 60 or 70 something? Oh yeah, that's right. It's getting warmer outside. Hmm. Maybe they finally did it. Maybe they finally made ice cream that doesn't melt. Woohoo! Uh, well, I definitely won't be eating that. Well, Dad, you can't eat it. That was a fake ice cream. Not now! Alright, time to show you the next thing I got. Uh, 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 what was that noise? Ah, uh, please help me! Oh man, this bag, man, this is like the most flimsy bag I've ever seen. But anyways, I got myself a hot dog to eat. Please, God help me! Dad, that thing is alive! I know, it came from a living thing, and I'm gonna eat him. Wait, you, you know that thing is alive, but you're still gonna eat him? Yeah, it's a hot dog, Lisa. What else are you supposed to do with them? <sighs> I have become a vegan for a reason. Uh, yeah, uh, a v v v v uh, 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 whatever. I don't know what that word is, but anyways, I'm gonna have this hot dog. Uh, I swear to God, please help, help, help! Well, there goes that. Ooh, wait, 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 but before I do that, ah! There goes my lunch. But anyways, I got this toy in here, and I don't know what this thing is. Is this like an iPhone? Uh, a, a, a Toshiba? What is this? That is a calculator. A, a a calculator. First of all, toys are meant to play with. First of all, this is like not even like. What do you use a calculator for? It's a calculator, Dad. You use it to do equations and find answers to them. Boring. That is not what toys are for, Dad. You're like in your forties. Shut up. Okay, you know, I changed my mind. Box lunch is a terrible place. Dad, box lunch is not a restaurant. You're you're right, it's not a restaurant. It's a bad restaurant, that's what it is. Dad, it's not a restaurant at all. It's just a store that, like, sells nerd collectible stuff. Nerd collectible stuff. So, that ice cream wasn't real? That hot dog was a, a real person? I don't know what box lunch would have that guy for. I don't know either. Maybe he was the employee at the front door. I mean, he was at the front... Ah! He was at the front door, so... I don't know. Anyways. So... I don't know what else to do. This place stinks. I'm never going here again. Dad, you just realized you just hit me and Maggie with the bag, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I, okay. I'm gonna throw the bag. Uh, well, there goes Lisa. Ugh. Okay. Before I cause any destruction, uh, that's about it for this uh, episode. Uh, Maggie, come with me before things get ugly. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Homie. Oh, oh. Uh, hello, Marge. Uh, uh, nice to see you here. What's going on, homie? Why? Is there a graduate cap on top of the fridge? Uh, I don't know. I assumed our fridge graduated. 
Ah, homie, fridges, don't go to school. Well, then how do you explain the cap on top of the fridge, Marge? Somebody must have put it up there. I wonder who. I don't know, Marge. What are you doing? I'm just going to sit over here. Uh, why is that? Uh, because I've been walking around all day taking care of the house for you guys. It's uh, quite the day. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, uh, hey guys. Hey, Bart's. Uh, what are you looking at? I see you guys noticed. Wait, you were the one that did that? Yes, Mom. It was me that put the cap on top of the fridge. Why? I, uh, I graduated from college and I couldn't find anywhere to put it. Bart in college? Oh, congratulations! You graduated! Wait a minute! How old are you again? I'm a hundred. What? I'm just kidding, I'm... I'm ten. Yeah! A ten-year-old being a college graduate! Psh, yeah, right! Well, that didn't work. But seriously, where did you get that from? I stole it from a graduate's house. Whose? I don't know. Somebody I just randomly saw while walking down the street with Millhouse, and I'm like, oh, you know, it'd be a good idea to steal his cap, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, I, I stole his cap. Do you think he's going to find out? <laughs> Probably not. I mean, do graduates really care about their caps, like, after they graduate? Like, there, there's like a 99% chance that they're never going to wear that thing ever, in their life ever again, or at least, you know, the same exact one. So, I think I'm off the hook. At least this time! This time, Mom. This time. Well, we should throw a graduation party for the fridge, Marge. Homie, how many times do I have to tell you? Well, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get preparations ready. I'm gonna go get the beer. <sighs> Dad? What's up with him, Bart? I, I, I don't know, Lisa. Homie, what's the problem? Well, thankfully, all of you guys are here for me to make this special announcement. Are we moving? Nope. But, uh, I have no other choice but to cancel the series. Wait, what? You're, you're canceling the show? Yeah. So wait, l l which one are you canceling? Are you canceling, like, the main Simpsons show, or are you canceling this particular Simpsons fan series, TCW Simpsons? The last thing you said, Lisa, I... Well, we kind of have to cancel this one for one particular reason. What? Are our views going down? No, of course not. Like, despite, you know... Okay, okay, let, let, let me break it to you guys. Uh, the main reason why we're canceling this series is because... Uh... We're starting to get a bit of uh, negative feedback recently on our videos. Like, out of nowhere, like, out of the blue... Especially on our first season compilation video, people were, uh, saying some negative things about this series, so... Because of that, we had to cancel. That, that's your only reason? Just for people not liking our videos? I mean, hey, the, look, look at the Sonic movie trailer. I mean, that negative reception was so bad that the director said, Oh, we'll change the character's design for you guys. So... Hey, he made it up to the fans, and you know what? We're going to make it up to the fans, too. We are going to... Well, in this case, we're doing the haters a favor. We are going to cancel this series. But, Dad, like you mentioned, our series was kind of popular. Yeah, I, I mean, look at this right here. I'm on the Character Workshop channel right now. Look at what's number five most popular video on his channel. A season two episode of ours, Party at Maggie's. And yeah, we're almost on par with, like, the Angry Birds Mania guys, and, uh, I... Okay, I don't know how that particular video got popular, but you know what I mean. I mean, we're almost up there. I, I mean, n not even the TCW guys can, like, you know, compare to us. Like, we're we're top dogs on the channel, or at least in, in like, I, I guess you gotta say top tier when it comes to, you know, channel content. I mean, we were the dogs, but then, you know, out of nowhere... Uh, we just, uh, had negative feedback, and, yeah, it's, um, 
hurting our reputation a little bit in a way. Uh, I don't know for sure. I mean, we're not really that popular. Like I said, our most popular video is almost at 9,000. Like, it, it's nothing compared to, like, the 900 million views that some music videos get on YouTube. But, yeah. Uh, I'm officially calling it quits on TCW Simpsons. Uh, oh yeah, camera's on. <clears throat> so, everybody who's watching this video, we all here from TCW Simpsons would like to thank you for the past few years that our series has been around. Thank you for all the views, all the likes, or at least back when we had likes. Uh, all the nice comments, or at least back when we used to have nice comments. And all that good stuff. Thank you for making this one of the more popular shows on the Character Workshop YouTube channel. Even more popular than freaking Stan's show. You hear that, Stan? We're better than you. Anyways. So thank you for watching. So... I don't know what else to say. I mean, there's lots of other content to look forward to on this channel. Like, like hopefully none of you guys out there are just subscribed to this channel just for this show. I mean, that would be... Yeah, that would be a little strange. But... Yeah, there's like all kinds of other videos to look forward to in the future on this channel. New episodes of Big Bird's Mania, Cracks My Egg, TCW, The Dunham Dummies, Phil and Friends, and that brand new It Came From England series, so... There's lots more to check out. But, that is about it for us. Okay, Homer, I'm officially retiring. Okay, I heard you. Wait, who's he talking to? Alright guys, I will be taking over now. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a different Homer. I, I've been around here longer than that other Homer has. Uh, that Homer was used specifically just for you guys. I'm mostly used for TCW. So, yeah, I'm going to be the official Homer of the channel now. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what you guys are going to be doing after this show gets canceled. But, uh, yeah, uh, see you all later, I guess. I've seen enough! I'm out of here! Uh, we have two dads? Oh boy. <sighs> well, Maggie, come on. Let's go home. Oh yeah, you're right, we are home. Uh, yeah, let, let's get going, okay? 